Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first session of Titan's Edge. Oh my goodness, the cameras are working, guys. Yo! And I was yeah. unmuted, everyone heard me. Everything's going great so far. 10 out first of 10 time DM. pog. <laughs> I know. This is all fantastic. So welcome, everybody. Meet your new cast of this wonderful, hopefully, wonderful D&D thing that's about to go down. gonna be good hopefully you recognize a few faces probably a face that some people don't recognize in here maybe multiple faces if you live under a rock or something which we will judge living under a rock is what many hi. people in this campaign do so i suppose just to get everything warmed up we'll have everyone here introduce themselves to those who might not know them and you know tell a fun fact about yourself that sounds awkward and fun to do Oh boy. Starting with Mitch. I'm so happy to be uh, in high school again. Hi. I'm Mitch. You might know me from Avatar DND &D or Awakening. It's been a long while since I've been here. Uh, fun fact about me I have a crippling addiction to the New York Mets. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Very nice. I suppose we'll move on. Um, just on the screen, we'll have it go in that order to Michael. Oh, I gotta go second? Alright, right. yeah, hi. <laughs> I'm Michael. I, I've been on this channel a lot for doing D&D stuff. I'm sorry, I'm back. Um, yeah, this was a fun fact. Fun fact. Uh, I, why well, at one point, I did YouTube in my <laughs> life. It's like two years ago. <laughs> Very good. Good enough. Next up on the screen, we have Mousy with their debut in Dice and Fire. Hello, it is I, Mousy. Um, I respond to Mousy or Maddie, whichever one you want to call me. I don't care, but I also I do streaming and voice acting. And I guess a fun fact about me is that I have a growing and like clinical addiction to manga. <laughs> <laughs> or manga, however you, whichever way you'd like to pronounce it. Mangoes. Yeah. <laughs> mangoes. <laughs> no, like manga. <laughs> Very nice. Next up in the green, we have Kayleen. That's me, or Kayla, as most people yeah, it's know really me what as. I call you too, so. It, yeah, that's, that's so kind of weird it that you rhyme, went, you so know, went full first name. So, <laughs> you know, it, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, You guys have maybe seen me a long time ago. I was in Awakening. I was in the pirate campaign. I was in Star Wars D&D. &D, and now we're back. Um, hello, everyone. And a fun fact. Um, I'm decorating my office in antique stuff. Look how cool it is and compliment me in the chat. Thank you. We spent like 10 <laughs> minutes before the stream started just trying to get her to have an old-fashioned radio voice and it didn't work. It, it really mm. didn't, yeah, for some reason. I'm really I can have auto that was, that was the reason you were trying to get the megaphone? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Look it's at all the, clicking it, together now. It would fit the vibe so nice, you know? And just <laughs> the mm -hmm. aesthetic, the lighting, it's all here, but no voice. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Side, explain yourself. Oh. Right, so I'm Side. I'm the DM of this campaign. Welcome everybody to Titan's Edge. <laughs> I've been hijacked. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Not nah, for one guy who trusted me on this side of things. <laughs> It's not that I trust you, it's that I feel bad for making you DM for me so many times and not, you know, returning the favor. It's more of a guilt. Who's ready to see me die? Session one. I also have to return that favor somehow. So. Yeah. But yeah, my name's Side. You can also call me Chris. As you know, I've DM many things over here. More stuff coming in the future. Uh, first time player. Nice to meet everybody. Oh man. Aw. And my fun fact is, I make t-shirts for a living. I didn't know that. That was, that. That was cool. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's that's one. I have that's one great. in my closet. I did. It's I. I haven't worn it since I moved to New Jersey yet, but I'm gonna. True. It's my favorite. one now. And of course, I am Xylophony. This is, you know, my channel. If you've watched anything Dice and Fire, I've probably been in it. And here we are, about to DM. For the first time in quite a while, we did a session zero, and I was rusty. I'm probably still going to be rusty, but it'll be fun. That's the important thing. So, 
I guess, do we have anything else to talk about before we get right into the fun stuff? Uh, I don't think so. Well then, cut the music. We are now presenting Titan's Edge D&D. Storms. Eternal storms. That is what this region was given when the Titan Fulminox was vanquished. Where once this Titan was ever changing as the seasons, it is now lain defeated, vanquished, for over a thousand years. The sky is left dark, with endless cloud cover, the seas treacherous with dangerous currents. But the worst of it is the thunder. Birds avoid this region like the plague. Sailors stray miles off course just to prevent themselves from getting a glimpse of this land. And people never come here unless they have dire purpose to do so. And dire purpose these adventurers have. These five adventurers have recent been, recently been recruited to a group called Titan's Watch, an organization of nine teams Nine teams representing the nine titans that they seek to keep from rising again. We see them all on not a boat moving across a rough sea, storm clouds above them, but what we call a shelled leviathan. A large, hundred, hundred fifty foot long sea turtle that has all different types of little housing things on it. Shacks built upon its back, you know, several crewmates walking around with spears, some with ropes, and, you know, one just sitting in the middle, holding onto a post, commanding where this giant leviathan will go. Also, upon the shelled leviathan, we have our five adventurers, who would like to uh, explain what they're doing first. I'm infusing stuff. I'm gonna do... Oh, gosh. I think I'm gonna do the one for... armor on myself. And then I think I'm gonna do the arcane-focused one on Milo. Okay, what's it look so like as you're um, doing this so infusion? Well, for my armor, I'll probably just, like, sit and, like, meditate with it. I'll probably take some of my tools and I'll, like, add, like, extra, like, I guess, like, reinforced straps. And I'm, like, tightening it and imbuing it with, like, a little bit of magic. For Milo, I'll go to Milo and be like, What do you cast with? Uh, I cast with um, my intelligence. Uh, book smarts. It's, uh... Do you have it a physical of... object? Because that's not really helpful. I can't do it on your brain. Um. Oh, y yes. I My uh, focus is the book. And yes. the book kind of just floats up. The next one. Yes, it's, it's my book. That's what I use to cast my spells. Can I see it for a second? Uh, I, uh, um... I'm going to make it better. I promise. <laughs> this person. Sure, sure. You can have. Uh, it kind of like begrudgingly hands the book over. I just have to like pull it out of your <laughs> grasp, like yank it out. <laughs> um, I'll kind of focus with it, and like it'll hover between my hands for a second, and then I will like mm. take some extra leather, and I will like wrap the spine and add some like little like maybe some feathers and stuff, and I will imbue your arcane focus, so you get a plus one to your spell attacks. Yo. Uh, awesome. So, uh, add a little flavor to that. So, my book is sentient. So, as, like, the leather wrapping comes up, or, like, you're wrapping it, at some point you just see, like, the front of the book kind of pops open, like, this big, cute eye, and it opens up, and it just looks directly at you. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna hurt. I promise. Can you hear me? The book can, yes, it can communicate. Oh. He, the okay. fact that he's showing himself is a good sign. He... It's a good sign. Okay. He, yes. I'll be gentle. Awesome. Well, I guess I'll do those as my two infusions. Very nice. As yes, you now get the benefits of those infusions, 
Until you choose to change them. As we took forever trying to figure out with the Artificer <laughs> class. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> that was a long talk. <laughs> you and me and Mike like, were struggling. It's a 20-minute conversation about how infusions work. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, meanwhile, as this giant turtle stays just hovering on the surface of the water, pretty much, just top shell just above the water, the rest of it beneath, you see large ripples as every uh, paddle of its fins leave a massive, you know, wake behind it. And following in that wake, um, could someone make me a perception check? Anyone who wants to. I want to. First roll the campaign, go for it. Perception. Anemone. You see little glimmers of light following in the water behind you, just under the surface. If you look closer, you see um, them swimming in a group, kind of just avoiding the wake of the uh, giant leviathan that you're on. And one of the sources of this light jumps out of the water. As you see what appears to be a dolphin, but with <laughs> streaks of glowing energy rushing through it. As they uh, sparkle. And as it hits the water, you can see almost uh, just trail of electricity spark to one of the other dolphins as it jumps out of the water. And they continue to follow. Nice. Can I go? I want to tell somebody about it. So, Mitch, what are you doing currently? Uh, I would probably be sitting down, making sure that my tail isn't to beat my robe, so I get no water on it. All right, I just want to walk up to Mitch's character, tug on his robe, and go, "Hey, what's hey, his what, hey, what?" And then I say, "Mir," and then I run back towards the edge of the turtle. Come here! C Hurry uh, up! This is important! Uh, fine. All right. As I slowly get up, I kind of mope my way over. Look. Can you describe what you look like as you're following over to the edge of the turtle? Uh, as I get up, I'm a very, very large being. Uh, I'm nearly six foot ten, 220 pounds. As I walk very hunched, I don't really stand up straight. My back is usually very hunched when I walk. Uh, my feet make small scratches against the top of the shell of the turtle. But not enough to cause damage, but maybe enough for a small itch. You can see that across the back of the shell there's many a scratches where not only other people have tread, but cargo boxes have been moved and you see, you know, alongside with you and the crew that are on this Leviathan, there's also crates and barrels of cargo that are being transported as well. So any scratch you might leave will likely go unnoticed. And you make your way to the edge. Do you see? What, the dolphins? Yeah. Yeah. You think I could catch one? You know, I would personally love to see you try. Really? Go for it. I would like to attempt to capture a dolphin. <laughs> Absolutely. How would you like to begin <laughs> um, your... <laughs> A brilliant first uh, mission to Roll initiative. capture this dolphin. I just need to hear what her starting plan is, you know? You should also describe what she looks like as she's doing it. <laughs> so I am a five foot tall little satyr girl. So she's half goat, half human. She's got some horns, long, dark hair, big black eyes, but cute ones. Um, and she's also covered in animal skulls. Um... <laughs> So how far away would you say these dolphins are to our turtle boat thing? Probably we'll call it 50 feet away. 50? That's far. You're on a 150 um, foot turtle. But. I, yeah, fair. I would like to try and lure the dolphin to me if possible. 
from like the edge of the turtle. Okay, so you move along the side of the turtle because they're already kind of following along behind, but <clears throat> you can get yourself mm-hmm. off to the side where you know there's not any immediate dolphins. What would you like to uh-huh. do to try to uh, lure it in? I'm just going to start making dolphin noises. Dolphin noises, fantastic. Eat, 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 eat. <laughs> um, now would you <laughs> cons- consider yourself ever being uh, to this region of Fulmanon where? Most people try to avoid in general, but have you ever been to this area before? No, probably not. She's more of a forest dweller. Yeah. Um, she's probably been around water plenty, but mostly lakes and ponds and rivers. Yeah, so you've I'm assuming this is more oceany. Not oceanic. likely seen one of these creatures before. No, she's very absolutely... she's very excited about this uh this new find of a creature. You can make a let's just give you an animal handling check at disadvantage. This is amazing. This is the best way to start this. You make, <laughs> this yeah, you make your uh, dolphin noises, and they respond with somewhat of the similar sound that you made. It doesn't seem to change their behavior necessarily, but they seem to respond and react to you. Fair enough. I go back to the big dragon dude, and I just say, I think they want snacks. Snacks. Yeah, do you have any snacks? Uh, Come on, chop, chop! This is I. What I? I don't know. Snack. Uh, maybe. Okay. What do you classify as snack? Um, I have alcohol. That's not really a ooh, snack. I. I don't think that counts. I don't know if fish things would like. I, I need something of substance. You know, like like bread or 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 a cracker. Well. You're out of luck on that one. I don't have either. Mm. Yeah, they're out in the public, right? Like right out yeah, in the open. Definitely. Off to the edge of the shell, we see a seven, roughly seven foot figure arguing with the roughly five foot figure about the concepts of feeding dolphins. Two foot difference. Look, arguing about we need to give dolphins. the dolphins food if we want to befriend them. You're and gonna I need waste to depre- our food. On dolphin. No, you can't give the dolphin food. How dare you think that this is a waste of our food? This is an important matter, I'll let you know, mister. Uh, well, look, if anything, it's coming from your pile of food. Hmm. Can I look on my person and see if I even have food? I don't know if I would. I guess I have rations, yeah, right? As you were um, sent out on this task, your handler, Mr. Quillstone, did give you He did rations. promise me snacks. Mm-hmm. So you all have rations of whatever variety your character would like. In my you cool. may spend I'll as you alcohol. choose. So. All right, so I, <laughs> I go. I look at back at the dragon guy, and I'm just like, all right, listen. If one of those dolphins comes up to me after I give them the snacks, I need you, okay, to grab it and pull it up on the turtle. So you. So let me get this straight. You're going to waste your food yeah. on an animal very yeah. far away that may not even yeah. look at you. Yeah. Then you want me yeah. to grab an electrical dolphin with my yeah. bare hands. Yeah. Or, well, not really. I mean, you can wear bare. gloves if you prefer. You're missing the point. Literally talking about you know them. Let's, let's, let's just see if you can even get it close. That's a good point. Okay. But if I if I get it up here, you're gonna grab it though, right? Yeah, I'll make sure to put my gloves on. All right, you won't have to hold it for long, so just just trust me. All right. Now I go back to the edge of the turtle. I want to call the dolphins again, but this time I want to use snacks. All right. (laughs) What's your character say to call these dolphins over with them with these snacks? Eat, 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 eat. (laughs) While while waving snacks in the air. No, the, the, she's holding the snacks, but her hand's in the water, and she's waving uh, them around like, eat, eat, eat. Uh, you're like getting some crumb trail dropping in the water. Yeah, exactly. All you're right. chumming the waters with biscuits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Weetabix. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you, it all starts you, to separate. Yeah. <laughs> you see us little That's tiny awful. bits of granola begin floating <laughs> across the surface of the water behind this turtle. Go ahead and make another animal handling check with no disadvantage. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> they seem to ignore your glorious treats completely. No, I don't think this is working. 
Aren't you gonna comfort me? You want a drink? Uh, what do you want me to do? I mean, a pat on the head would work. Just watch uh, out for the horns. Yeah, wh whatever. And I pattered like twice. <laughs> Thanks. I'll try again next time. Surely we're gonna have to go somewhere on the turtle boy again. God. As you're Staying saying this. at the church would have been a better idea than doing this, but... I, I just kind of hope the three of us are watching this from afar, like, in just like, absolute <laughs> awe. Yeah, like it's like I'm a in movie. the middle of something. <laughs> I've conjured fake popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, like, doing stuff, and I'm, like, watching them argue, like... <laughs> I'm just continuing to stand there, look up at him, and smile. As you guys are doing this, you see a uh, small... Um, Water Genasi boy come running up to you. He has this big, like almost piratey hat on, and he says to each of you, All right, each of you, no more feeding the dolphins. You need to get back to work if you're gonna be on my crew. To work? It wasn't me. I do not know what work you are talking about, my friend. Aren't you on my crew? I don't think that was the I'm arrangement. I'm captain of this crew. I can't have you lollygagging and reading your book. How old How is old? this, this he looks person? Like? Maybe 10, 11. <laughs> they have an average strength. How far do you think I could punt them? <laughs> <laughs> what was that about the dolphins? <laughs> Go join them. They leap up and snatch them out of the water. <laughs> I just look around. Did someone lose their kid? I am not a kid. I'm the captain of this crew. Captain Pondo of the Delta's Dread. Most notorious okay. pirate on all the seas. He pulls out a little wooden sword and flails it around. Ah. Uh, I... Young child's imagination. Can I look around? Where, sh where is Shydock right now? Maybe just like standing around. Okay, I'm gonna walk over to him and go, If things go wrong, can you please kneecap the small child, Captain? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, got, I got you. I think I can handle him. Thank you. You are quite the good shot. So I, I recommend not a bad idea. Oh, I'm a true, I'm a true shot. Nothing gets past me. Perfect. <laughs> Next, he runs up to the large... Seven foot tall figure. You! Me. Yes. What is a child? You should be scrubbing the turtle's back. Why? Scrub the turtle's back or walk the plank. Can I, I walk the plank? I, I look around the turtle. There is clearly no plank. <laughs> there, there's many boards and like things, but there's not like a plank. Like, jutting off the side of it or anything. You know who I think should wash the turtle? See the... See the blue fellow over there? Right hmm? there. Right there. That one? I think that one needs a bit more of a... A workout. That's considering what our I was previous thinking. invention. He's sitting over there reading books. And see, I am one of... Who follows the gods. So... I have to do my duty. Right. He just ignores whatever you just said and goes running over <laughs> to our blue friend with the book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, small. What do the ledgers say, quartermaster? The ledgers. They say uh, we are on course uh, to make it to the docks on time. Mm. I don't know. He like licks his finger, puts his hand in the wind, and just grumbles to himself and walks away. Thank God. Handy what is that kid's back. problem? Ah, thank you, my friend. That's what very a weird small child. He's very um odd. He <laughs> doesn't know I'm the captain, right? No, I want to be the captain. You're the captain. You. Who is the captain around the ship? I am the captain now. No, me. I want to be the captain. No, we went over this. You can be captain next week, but this, this is my week. Fine. Less than not. ten feet away with you, um, a woman just like has her face in her hands, just <gasps> sighing. 
<laughs> just didn't know it was going to be this kind of group. You're telling me. Do we all see <laughs> this woman? Mm -hmm. You see Can her? I she's guess? got... Um, what does like, she look like? She's got teal blue skin and like kind of a teal and blue hair swept over the side of her head and a big yellow bandana trailing off the back. Okay. Can I go up to her and be like... Do you know how to capture dolphins? I know I don't know how to capture the dolphins. However, yeah. I did see my previous uh, crewmate get electrocuted by one of them once. Oh, I'm going to need one of those. Well, you might not want to be touching one. Who said anything about touching it? I'm not touching it. I wasn't going to touch Most advisable. It. She shouts over to you. <laughs> Okay. So, we should be arriving at your destination within the hour. Anything else you all need to know about Fulham now? Um, yes. is it going to stop raining? Stop raining, yes. But doesn't mean it's going to get sunny out. Do you have a Are there on, like, where we're going? There? I'm supposed to drop you off near the mining village. <clears throat> and Are there snacks there? Of course there's snacks. There's snacks everywhere. Yes. If you know where to look. Oh, I know is, where to look. Is there someone that we are supposed to meet uh, once we land and go to this mining village? You were the ones with all of the instructions. I, I still got the letters, they don't worry. Down, we'll we'll figure it out. Oh, right! Those things. I can see why I was given them. <laughs> see, who has not described their character yet for funsies? Let's get your description. A three? Yeah, yeah. no, I haven't. I don't think okay. the three of us actually described their character. No, we just shied out did. first. So you see a very scrawny looking man with like big curly hair with like a satchel around his pa uh, around his shoulder onto his waist with like a, just a slingshot tucked into his pocket. Very small, scrawny man. Do any of you happen to have like metal armor on or anything like that? I do. But un underneath my robes, though. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nope. I'm wearing chainmail. Yeah. So she'd probably look over to you. Might want to change out of that before we arrive. Why would I do that? Eh, lots of people around here find that wearing metal can be uncomfortable. Especially when the storms come. Nonsense. I'll be fine. Wait, what, what is this about metal? I mean, look around you. Lightning can strike at any moment. Uh, and it strikes very often in Fulmanan. Well, is there a place to change on this turtle? Plenty of shacks. Use the bathroom wherever you choose. Uh, is there a place to get a resupply of it? I imagined you would want to come with all the supplies you needed, but in town I'm sure you can buy something fitting. See what I tend to wear, and she, like, lifts up a couple scrolls that she had on her, and you can see that she has, like, studded leather armor, but it's studded with, like, these little beads of glass across it. Haven't had any problems myself. Hmm. Smart. Well, I guess I'll go change then, so I don't get electrocuted. Could be wise. I proceed to walk off alone. Yeah. Yeah, I head off in a different direction, taking off my chainmail, ready to change it as soon as we get in town. Very good. Well, um, I can go next. Um, my character sitting, like, listening, kind of quietly taking everything in, um, is a 5'5", five five, um, humanoid, human-looking... Um, potentially half elf. Um, she has a uh, long, like whitish 
kind of blonde hair that is pulled into three braids, two that come in the front, one that goes down the back. Um, long ears that have gold tips on them that are covered in jewelry. Um, she is very slender. Her arms and legs look slightly too long at some angles. Um, she is wearing pretty much all black, but has a leather um, uh, chest plate and bracers and like kind of archer's gloves. So they only cover two of her fingers. And you can see because of that on her um, on her right hand, she's missing her, uh, her pinky, but she's got long slender fingers and long nails. But her skirt is like really what stands out because it is just like layers upon layers upon layers of fabrics that are kind of all tied together. And under each layer, you can see like tiny little trinkets and things that she uses like daggers and potions and just bo like all sorts of baubles kind of like hung on belts underneath each layer of the skirt. Um, and then she's wearing um, knee high leather boots. Um, she has um, like icy blue eyes, almost like barely visible, almost cataracts like where you can kind of not really tell that they're like, they have irises at all. Um, and then she has a scar that runs along her cheek up towards her hair and underneath her like bangs. So you can kind of see like where her hairline is. It's a bit singed. Um, and she's got little goggles on top of her, her head, like a, they've got like the, the circular goggles, but they like flip up kind of. So they have like sunglasses mode, I guess. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think that's everything. <laughs> Man, I should have made you describe yeah. your character first. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Everyone else has sorry, to stand up to that. <laughs> a thousand years. Beautiful. <laughs> um, and sort of also nearby as this was going on, just listening in, you see this six foot tall, six, six foot three slender, like ice blue skin uh, Elegin, winter Elegin. He's got this like stark white snowy hair that's really long and very messy it's just tied kind of roughly into a ponytail on the back it's got these big round glasses on and just because they're big enough you can kind of see the slight bags from lack of sleep but being elven it's hard to form any major physical differences um he's sort of wearing this like uh it's like, a, like a sweater vest almost and he's got this like kind of long coat that on top of it, and it just kind of flows down. There's a few uh, holes that have been like stitched up pretty poorly, uh, along with a few burn marks and uh, all over the all over the clothing. So, yeah. Oh, and he's got this book that's now also got the big eye opened, and it's got these like kind of icy wings that helps it float. All right. So a little bit more time passes. You all get changed out of any armor that you wish to uh, put to the side for now. And eventually you come across just this open cove where a small rowboat is brought out um, for you to get off of the turtle because it's not going to crawl all the way onto land for you. And you're able to make your way onto an island. And you see... Much um, like the waters were looking like almost a purplish gray hue, just with all the storminess going around you. Um, everything around you just seems to be completely foreign, as it's been struck by lightning a hundred times or scorched by some means or another. Yet there's still somewhat of a beauty to the land, as there's a slight glow in almost everything you see. The fruits on the trees... Just the water moving through the leaves. Everything seems to have a subtle luminosity to it. And you uh, step off the boat onto the sand. And you are now in the region of Fulminan. Where you are told to go to. And open specific letters. I just tap on... Um... Mitch's character. Do you have the letters, right? Yes, of course. I still have them. What should we do first, then? Who should we see? 
Uh... Also, what's your name? You never told us. I look at him with a big smile. I'm a bit hesitant about giving my name, but if you want a name, let's just go with Rex for now. Okay. So Need what's the closest? Gramble through all these random letters that I don't know what any of them are supposed to do. <laughs> no one's you were trying to look them, at them. You were told um, very quickly um, by your handler in order to open them in. Did you make sure to keep track of that or not at all? I remembered there being certain letters where there were certain people. I do not remember the order. <laughs> very good. I was kind of drinking, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of the liquor while that was being explained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you reach into your bag to find the letters, and you see that. Now you remember you already opened the one bag, the one letter when you got to the docks. It's addressed from uh, your handler, and it says, "Blessings from the day, blessings of the day, serpent operatives. This is your handler, Giovanni Quillstone. You're probably wondering what your first task is gonna be. Alone, you would have had no chance of taking on a titan like Fulminox. However, we are all in luck. It's already dead, as it has been for basically forever." All you have to do is make sure it stays that way. If the Titans remains are remaining bound to this world, it'll never reach the afterlife, and it will never threaten to return. For now, we just need you to meet with the Leviathan Captain Brooke, which you have already done, of course, and she will get you cap passage to Fulminox for a fairly hefty price. This voucher should cover it. Don't let her take a copper more. But be warned, these lands can be a little tricky, so dress accordingly. Brooke should be able to explain anything else. Once you get to land, make sure to travel towards the village and meet with Spark Kellius. He'll guide you the rest of the way. Open the next letter then. Proceeds to take a nail and open the next letter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me the give me the coupon. Give me the coupon. The, the... So I can give it to the lady. I don't know if I trust any of you with this important stuff. <laughs> Why we really would we trust other. you with the important stuff? Because I've kept it safe. Well then hurry up and pay the dang lady. Uh, I pull the voucher out. <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> As you're handing it over, you hear a voice come from the letter you just tore open. Now, it seems that you finally met up with Spock Elias. <laughs> I like, I like, That's immediately close it. <laughs> I like to slam it. Hogwarts speaking <laughs> letter. Yeah. <laughs> don't mind that. Here's the voucher. <laughs> this mission is top secret, and don't let anyone hear what I'm about to say next. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is not a good day. I don't think. <laughs> so much stupid thing up. She takes the voucher, nods to you, laughs a little bit, and heads back to her Leviathan. Have a good one. Uh, right. So we need to go find the Sparkles guy? And that should yeah. be everything you need to know. Because it was mostly muffled all the... Everything you just uh, heard. Is there words is on it, the page or is it just yes, a there voice? there are also words on the page. Okay. Is there a replay <laughs> button? <laughs> is this like the voicemail? <laughs> I, I don't see a button. I just... I reread it. <laughs> yep. So once you get to the oh. town, Sparkelius is going to, you know, meet up with you. Um, he knows everything about the land follow. What he knows is the gist of it. And he'll be mm -hmm. able to, you know, get you situated and possibly... Hey, we got to find this dude. I don't Sparkles. know what he looks like. Sparkles. We should yeah. bring him snacks. What is up with you and the snacks? Everybody likes snacks. If we're yeah. going to, uh, if we need his help, we might have to pay him somehow. To be fair, I think he want money. Is it quite courteous to give a gift to someone who is so willing to help us? No. I don't know. I would like it if somebody gave me snacks. Just saying. It would be a nice gesture, I do think. What is the good snack to give? Yeah. Um. Booze. I like nuts and berries. I thought we were giving it to and... this other guy, not you. Oh. Well, he might like nuts and berries. I reach into my pat, my uh, my pouch, and just bring back a handful of nuts. 
Are these good? I would like to sniff them and see how good of quality they are with my nose. Give me a nature check for a good nut <laughs> sniff. Good quality nuts. <laughs> you indeed do know some quality nuts. And I do. These nuts no. are unfortunately not the highest of quality. They have been left out, unpackaged properly, were possibly, you know, gathered months ago and have simply been salted and kept to eat at some time in the near future, but have just been sitting in this man's sweaty pocket for the past week and a half. I would like to slowly back away. <laughs> I and... would like to proceed to eat one. <laughs> yeah, it's good nuts, it's... What you're used to, it's fine. Would you like to try one? <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, they're, they're delicious. Here, everyone try one. Don't I try mean... one! Don't do it! I'd rather not. I can smell I... it from here. I'm going to trust the uh, small nature creature. I do not think these are some uh, good... I eat one. Those oh, are not dear. good nuts! It's kind of stale, but... It tastes doesn't, fine. I mean, they could like be fresher. Bleh. Sorry, we were just on a, a boat for a long time. I couldn't get them fresh. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think those will be a good snack gift, but it's fine. I, I'm sure Sparkles will forgive us. So... Do we know where to find Sparkles? What was his actual name? No. Sparkelius. Sparkelius. <laughs> oh, Sparkelius. Sparkelius. Okay. His name is Sparkles. I, okay. Just yeah. as you'll find him. He's going to be where the armor is. I know it. Let's go to the town and start screaming sparkles and no. surely he'll come. Hey, Why? Don't. That's not, no, that's, we shouldn't do that. That's very do you have a better idea? And that will bring yep. a lot of attention to us. Okay, and I don't then want that. What, is the be what is a better idea? I would assume we're looking for somebody with a bit of formality. Maybe Back at the university, there was always some kind of administrator that was able to I'll look guide us my... in the right direction. <gasps> a secretary. Is is there like a secretary or an administrator for this town? We could ask know. the boat lady. Is, is the boat even there still? Are they just gone? She is like rowing back to the uh, turtle. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I think it is a bit late to ask the boat lady. Yeah. Okay. I don't think she likes well, us very much. Either way, we need to head to town, so let's get going. And I would like to attempt to hop on the back of the dragon. Oh, all right. Um, Wait, make an uh, acrobatics uh, check against uh, uh, athletics or acrobatics <laughs> from the dragon boy. I, I, <laughs> darn it. Do I have to do it as well? Yeah, just be Nate. All right, with your athletics so... or something, and you're good. Yeah, <laughs> darn it. You, yeah. Do I just so... fall off? Yeah, you go to jump up onto his back, and he steps forward, and, I... and you yeah, so... slip off and land with your face in the sand. Dang, you were oh. fine with it before. Yeah, because that was a life or death situation. This is just walking into a town. Plus, I want you to get my robes dirty. Hey, I might get some fur on them, but aside from that... As you get up off the ground, you have some like grayish black oh. sand stuck in your fur. I'm going to assume the five foot satyr is not more than 500 pounds. That's a no. reasonable okay. assumption. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and cast Tensor's Floating Disc then. Uh, get to float again? No, it's actually just a disc that floats. It's three, three foot by three foot. It's like a circle. And then uh, it follows me wherever I go. But only from like a 20 foot distance. So it'll be really far away. What can we ride on it? <laughs> Uh, well, it can it can hold up implying. to 500 pounds. It doesn't specify. I don't. In her think... sheet, I have her as five feet tall, 150 pounds. So we're yeah, Gucci. You are good. No, I, like, I, I a three by three uh, thing. Any of you could ride sit on down it. on it, or if you yeah. squeeze, you might be able to fit two people. Well, I would like to it get would just on it. Sit in place. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to attempt to mount it and just like sit on it with my legs hanging over it. Yeah. What does this disc look yeah. like? Is it invisible or does it have a color to it? Uh, no, it, it actually has like a whole shape that like I've, it's a, it's a big, big plate, but it's like a really ornate plate. Like you would get at a dinner and it's, it, it's one that he would have had back um, home before he went to university. So that's, that's kind of how he's imagined it. 
Uh, it's just like this big ornate piece of china. <laughs> yeah, you sit on it easy enough. It seems to hover just above the ground. Your feet kind of dangle, just barely touching the sand. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. it floats three feet above the sound deck. Uh, three feet above the three ground. Three feet above, yeah. So it's actually then, quite yeah. quite far up. <laughs> you're, you're well off the ground. I'm vibing. Yeah. Could all you make a perception check for me? <sighs> oh, wondrous rolls. Oh, I yeah. did. Why did that double click? <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Shy Doc, as everyone's looking at this uh, magical floating disc with wonder. You actually very conveniently see a sign with a big ol' arrow on it. If you'd like to yeah, investigate. I think closer. we should go that way. Huh? Why? Big, big arrow. Is it just like a mystical arrow that's floating, or is it like actually like just a, a wooden, wooden sign town? Post. A sign. Oh. If you look closer, it says yeah, Greenstone like... Crag on it. At a young age, I learned to follow way. the signs life gives you. <laughs> It's like one of those signs that has like the, the like the different parts of lights that kind of go oh, across yeah, it's like, it. Yeah, it's like yeah, a yeah. Vegas sign. <laughs> <laughs> it just sparkles. Hot babes this way. <laughs> <laughs> you see Shadow just start running that way. Hot babes. <laughs> I would not. I would not be far behind. <laughs> I get like. I guess we're walking into town, but like as we get closer, yeah. I just like the blue starts to like creep up, and I just like and I like steal myself, and it like goes away. Walking like kind of like slightly behind Rex, I guess, like because he's the biggest. <laughs> I'm just like looking around, like keeping an eye out. It's your first time in a town. Seem a lot more nervous than you should be. No, I just don't like people. And people don't like me. But we're people. Some people are good. Some people deserve to rot. But that's just the way of life. I know. I hear you. As you guys are mm -hmm. um, continuing down this pathway... Could you each make a survival check for me? <laughs> ah, good. I'm surviving. I'm surviving. Yeah, you're also 20 foot away from us on a floating disc. Ahead <laughs> 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 or behind? It'd be behind. Oh, behind. Behind. It follows me at a 20 foot distance. <laughs> She's yeah. so content, though. She's just snacking have and to move. vibing Monet, and humming can you hurry to herself. Up, please? There's lots of problems on this giant piece of I can't make it go faster. So, Nemini, you I see can... you see us almost before it happens. As the sky releases a bolt of lightning. Roughly 20 feet in front of you towards the rest of the party. Um, you, you guys strikes, might wanna... Before you could even finish, it strikes one of the trees right next to them. And you all see a blinding light go coursing through the tree. Through the roots in the ground. As the ground beneath you lights up. But well, it seems uh, that none of you are... They don't see that every day. That is, um, the blue like fully washes over her and she's just like hmm. <laughs> it goes back. Can I do like an arcana check on the ground then? Absolutely. And, like, see like if I can understand why it would have like done that like what is it about this this land that makes it so magically inclined i guess sure make the check yeah what did i get <laughs> oh well <laughs> you can see that you know there's something magic about this lightning but not you know mm -hmm. anything past its natural form in this world lightning is you know brought to this world by the titan you know fulminox who now yes. lies dead the reason that this land is full of lightning is because that titan is dead in this land um yeah but not only that um you know it's a bolt directly from the essence of fulminox itself but the land is adapted and had to change due to this titan being here so the tree is not a normal tree you might find every fiber in it is a hundred times more conductive than a tree from where you're from might be 
and it's able to, uh, you know, ground the lightning as it strikes directly through its roots into the earth. That is very interesting and possibly quite uh, useful. Uh, friends, the tree, it is a, um, how you say, uh, the, um, the lightning, it strike uh, the tree uh, like, um, like a metal, and it strikes the tree, and the tree absorb the lightning powers. It is, um, it's it's like the lightning is snacks and the tree is me. I understand. I, it's, the tree is basically a lightning rod. This yes, is, is a lightning rod. Is a uh, conductor, I believe is the word. Is, oh. Is it is, um, I think it might be helpful for us if we walk close to the tree so that it may protect us from the lightning from the titan. Should we take a tree with us? I Hold do not on. think that we can take a tree with us. Why oh. would we want to be next to the thing? Not that next to it. Draws near it. the lightning. I know, but it draws the lightning in. So are we... yes. So well, the lightning doesn't strike us. Wouldn't we want to be away from us. it? You need oh. to be close enough so the lightning is onto it and not to, not to us. Yes. Not like on top of the tree. More like ten yards, fifteen yards from the tree. Oh. Hey, you, you're the smart one. I'm going to trust you. Could we put the tree on your disc? But the it's tree my disc. Is very heavy. Is the disc not so heavy? <laughs> um, mm. The only other solution is to somehow use the essence of this tree in the land to become immune to the Titan's lightning. However, I do not have the current um, abilities to do so. But um, is it is possible okay. that we made... Uh, it's best if we hurry to the town. I think it is best if we hurry to the town before the lightning strikes us Let's instead of the tree. Oh, yeah. It does not move like that. It just follows yeah. me. While okay, you can keep on trying. Okay, yes. Could I try to steal yeah. some of the, uh, the, like, the tree? Yeah, what would you like to do? I want to, like, it's a little piece of the tree, like a, like, like a uh, branch or something. Yeah, there's branches. That's a bad the idea. Cool. I take the branch. Would you like to take one from the tree that was just struck or from a different yes, tree? Yes, yes. From the one that was just struck. Okay. Can you make a constitution saving throw, please? Okay. So you'll just be taking this. You take one lightning damage as it zaps you. I was considering licking the tree. I'm really glad I didn't. I do not know what part of what I said would give you the idea that licking the tree is a good idea. I like spicy snacks. This one that is would be spicy. spicy. <laughs> very, very spicy, yes. I'm doing a minor prayer under my breath. Just <laughs> distraught. <laughs> at how <laughs> your mind works. <laughs> oh, Celestia, please guide me. <laughs> oh, man. This is gonna be something. Alright. So you uh, continue down the path, and eventually you see um, a very um, rocky-looking town. There's um, pretty much the edge of a mountain um, where this small village seems to sit. It uh, has what appears to be some metal structures um, craned over some of the buildings. You can see a dock connected to the other side of it. And you see a little bit of smoke rising from some chimneys. Is there a... Goals! Okay. And can you just... Please. Not... Scream. Why? Because you're drawing attention. I like attention. Well, I don't. Oh. I don't either. I'm gonna go ahead and also just re uh, cancel out Tensor's holding <laughs> disc so that we can all group together as we go into the town. <laughs> Sorry. Do you, do you warn her? Just... I also absolutely. So no charisma. I absolutely butt. do not warn them. Like, I <laughs> negative charisma. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just fall right on your butt. Plop. Don't even think no. about it either. Where just did my floaty disc go? 
the disc is a time out. <laughs> I think he, he means he can't hold it anymore. Come on. Yes. yes I, re I reach out my hand. Come on, Nemini. I take her hand. I give uh, him a glow or a glare as I pass him by. Actually, it was only one hour. It probably would have gotten close to running up by the time we got there anyways. Pretty close to it. Yeah, so as you approach the town, you can see... It's not as quiet as it looks. Actually, in the center of town, there seems to be a, a square with a little stage on it. And there's a group of people crowded around it. I I, I want to go see what what is going on. You can probably see from back here. No, we got to get closer. Do you not think we should find sparkles first? No. Uh, you guys didn't want to, me to find sparkles, so... Um, is there someone just... speaking at the square? Yeah, you seem to see yeah. a uh, you know a large figure standing there. But you can't Maybe really that anything. sparkles. Can we can we hear anything that they're saying? No, at the all? sound of the crowd's kind of drowning it out at this point. Oh God, they're cheering. Just a lot of murmuring. Some people shouting. Seems like a lot of positivity. But we have to get closer. I can't hear, and I got big ears too. Um. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Uh, fine, but I don't like it. Lead Maybe away. it is best for the giant <laughs> dragon is friend, and the tall elf do not uh, be there, so we do not draw the attention of the crowd. I agree with this. Do you think we Goodbye. should, like, spread out? No, I think that the shorter people should uh, sit in the back, try to catch what the big... Um, excitement is about mm, mm. okay instead the two of us we would draw attention we do not fit in this land i do not think not at all <laughs> as i Nemini would just on. go ahead yeah. oh. as i kind of like pull my hood a bit closer and snug down my executioner mask a little bit more to try and show less and less of my skin and then Minnie would oh. just grab Wick's hand and be like, come on, hurry, we gotta see. Uh, okay, 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 we'll just stay with the group. No, they're gonna stay here. We gotta go see what's up. Come on, adventure. Okay, Um, I have a question. Are the people here, like, do they look human-like? or are they? There seems like... to be a mix of races. There's humans, seems to be a, a good amount of Genasi, dwarves. Okay. Some uh, um, some dragonborn, but you see like bluish colors along many of them. I'm gonna like quickly look around, see if anyone's looking at me, and I'm. They might be because Anemone is screaming, <laughs> but like I'll just like also put my hood up, and then underneath the hood, I'll just like change to like an Earth Genasi or something like kind of greenish brownish skin. Um, morph my face to be a little bit wider and less slender and kind of just like sneak in with her keeping her like tight to my hip now I'm pulling her while facing the crowd when I turn around to look at her again do I realize it's the same person make a what kind of check is this gonna be <laughs> Tell it. In, wisdom, wisdom, insight? probably. Yeah. Insight, insight's good. Insight, 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 yeah. Check. Insight, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Because the mannerisms it's... are still the same. I'm still mm -hmm. like, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> She's wearing all the same clothes, but that's a different face. Did you eat my friend? You better no, tell no, me no, what no, you no, did with her, no, or else no, I'm gonna no, scream. And Ebony, I put my hand on her mouth. It's me. It's me. No, 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 it's me. <laughs> the two of us are watching from afar. Maybe this was a bad idea. I don't it's think me, putting me, the loud me. mouth over there was the best idea, but it was the only idea we had. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is okay, okay? <laughs> it's fine. Just put your hood up. It's me, Wick. Are you sure? I'm very sure, yes. Okay. You gotta warn me before you do something like that. 
I'm sorry. I thought... Never mind. It's fine. Let's go get closer. Okay. She... <laughs> the mood just changes so fast. She's just back to... All right, come on! <laughs> An enemy is true neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you make your way into the crowd now. Some some of these uh, very short, like one-story buildings are around you. Um, <clears throat> but the group just keeps like cheering and uh, getting excited. You can now hear the voice of the uh, what appears to be a Earth Genasi on stage. He has a uh, kind of like dark, cracked brown skin and um, a really kind of like tight ponytail. And he's just, he keeps waving this big old pickaxe in the air. And he's just... Uh, Shouting, then it's decided then. All of us here, we know that it's the right thing to sentence this man to death. However, the question still stands. What are we going to do with him? Now, I know many of you may be thinking, send him off into the ocean as we're supposed to do. Let him meet the other side with his ancestors, but no. He stands guilty of murder. Stealing from the very mine that he sought to work at. I propose that he is cairned in stone to not fall beneath the earth. Sitting just as the Titan Fulminox is right now. And you hear like from the crowd, there's like half of them cheering, half of them just gasping like, what? No. And there's just some confusion going all around. And you see to this... <laughs> On the stage, just on his knees, this little beaten down dwarf, just with his hands tied behind his back. This isn't the kind of show I thought it was. Uh, me either. The like blue creeps back, and like my skin looks like it's like melting almost because she's just like so anxious of like what is happening. Like it's kind of like flickering between like trying to keep up like appearance but at the same time she's just like terrified now um are we too far to kind of like see the face of the dwarf like i kind of want to get a sense of of like does he feel like does he look guilty or scared or uh safe to say he looks pretty scared right now you can't see much of his face but he is like his face is down you know pointed at the stage and he's just shaking you can see like he has blood trailing from him in a couple spots. But I just start tugging on Wick's sleeve or whatever. I'm just like I I wanna help him. Um uh, uh I'm gonna change my voice to be like a deep, like dwarvish man. What did he do? I can see that we have new people coming. Well, to repeat myself, this minor you let a hundred pounds of titan glass just disappear under his nose. And we found more of it stolen in his house. So, stands to reason that he has been stealing from the mine the whole time. Not only that, but we had a recent, recent other miner go missing. One that was tasked to work with him. Therefore... Seems like he's part of the reason of this disappearance. Now, who's to say what he did with this missing miner? But if he did have a mining accident, he is also, unfortunately, cairned in the stone. Somewhere that we don't know. And he says to know nothing about it. So if that is the fate of said lost soul, he will be stuck in that rock until we find him. Um, I'm gonna, like, change my voice, but try and, like, I don't have thaumaturgy, so I can't make it sound like it comes from somewhere else, but I'm just gonna, like, try and, like, be yeah. sly about it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Where I'll say I, like, to, like, get a good word to him, you had to, like, kind of push yourself to the, really, the front of the crowd. So, at the place you're at right now, like, if he can hear you, he can probably see you as well. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, I mean, I'm, I'm not much taller than Anemone, but I'll, like, kind of pull her back a little bit through like in like or off to the side and like kind of kneel down and be like I don't have any way to help him the only thing that I can think of is prolonging the like uh, I don't know like a, a case or something like they seem to me like exiling or going to execute him or something like that <gasps> maybe we should talk to Rex he looks like an executioner maybe he knows Ooh. the procedures 
Yeah, let's get Rex involved. I'll go get here. You keep our spot. I'm gonna go okay. get him. Okay. And I just okay. want to run as fast as I can to Rex. <clears throat> and I'm not without even a word. I'm just gonna start pulling him. Hey, 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 hey! You're not Mayor. explaining anything. Mayor. What Mayor. did I tell you about crowds? Mayor. What? So I'm just being dragged. I'm like trying to like. Yeah. Did you like, let yourself be pull, dragged? Is the question. Back. Yeah, no, I'm definitely trying to like pull back. Okay. Be like, whoa, 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 explain yourself. Explain oh, yourself. What's wrong? Okay. Listen, listen, listen. There's there's a little elf guy, and they're gonna kill him if we don't do something. So, so what? There's executions all the time. Her eyes just get super big and black. <laughs> Puss in boots mode. A single tear. A single <laughs> tear rolls down her cheek. And she just looks at you with those big, black, cute little eyes, and she's trying to convince you to help her. Come on, Rex. Clearly, you're the one who can help this man. What? Why me? I just said I don't like to be with crowds. You can, and now you're you trying can, to drag me into can, a crowd and where I don't want to be. You do, do have the proper please? attire for this. Yeah, we, that's you, not no, the point. Listen, you can just offer to execute him. They're trying to find a way to do it. You can just say, I'm an executioner, and then go up, and then you're going to be like, oh, but I have to do it at my execution spot. And then you're going to take him home, but then we're not going to take him home. We're going to take him, and he's going to be my pet. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It's, excuse me. following yes. you up to that point. <laughs> Follow-up questions is my small uh, nature yeah. friend. Uh, is he innocent? What is it that they are trying to execute him for? They say he's a murderer, but I don't also, believe it. Also, who is he? I, do we know who this man is? No. You hear the crowd just the... erupt and cheer from behind you? If you can't trust your own gut, who can you trust? I say we have to help him. We the logic, help the him. data right. and the he's facts. He's like this big and uh... he's he's innocent. I uh, probably um but he is being tried for a murder, but they're just going to kill him. They don't even have proof. I'm going to be is completely honest with you, my young nature friend. I do not think it is a good idea to save a murderer. <laughs> he's not a murderer. Just, he's just cute. a simple thought. He is what? <laughs> Look. I know a murderer when I see one. Yes, so do I. I'm looking at it, supposedly. Um, can I... I want to do something. Go ahead. Um, the houses that are nearby, are they all made of, like, stone? Are there yeah, any, like, there's a lot of barns stone, nearby? A bit of, uh, wood kind of stuff. There's Is... A... It's been raining, right? So most of the wood is probably wet. It's It's very just continuously damp around here yeah um oh god okay my plan was i kind of wanted to cause a distraction so i kind of wanted to like sneak off to the side and like see if i could like start a small fire wonderful <laughs> i have fire bolt yeah. and hand trips so, like, i think I could, there's like, plenty of flammable things that you can find especially interiors and stuff okay like i that. just don't want to cause mass destruction like i don't want to burn a house down but i want to like stop like if there's the like a pile of places hay are indoors i would say right now but Oh, shoot. Um. Okay. Well. <laughs> Too chaotic neutral bird in the house down. Yeah, why not? To save <laughs> this it. potentially innocent man. Yep. <laughs> potentially <laughs> not innocent man. He could be. Uh, supposedly, all of the points. He could be sparkles. All the signs point to not innocent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Um, I mean, I have like okay, I have like pretty high intelligence. I mm -hmm. can I like, as I'm like kind of slinking back into the crowd, could I just what the heck was his name? Um, what was the actual name? Sparkelius. 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 I like how I just made everybody remember him as Sparkles. Can I change my voice again to something like like high pitch and be like? or something and see if the dwarf responds like peeks his head up or something like that sure as um, I'm like trying to like sneak or not sneak away I guess but like try and like move away out of the crowd make a performance check with this new voice of yours negative one let's go lovely hey 
That was another nat, Why? That was a nat 20 yeah. on the second Why roll. did it have to be a natural 20? <laughs> Just there to taunt you, really. Um, but yeah, I mean, the voice comes out. It, you weren't like trying to imitate anyone specifically, so it's still kind of what you're aiming for, but you don't seem to get any response from anyone in the crowd or the uh, dwarf on stage. Okay, well then I, I'm still gonna like... I'm gonna go see if I can like find a house that has like an o like a door with an overhang because then hopefully like that would be like the most dry and i'm just gonna like firebolt it <laughs> all right give me a little sleight of hand as you try to not make it very obvious that you're shooting a firebolt into somebody's house i have a plus four man you scream it like just firebolt <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. what kind of scene do you make as you shoot a uh, <laughs> stream of fire at this person's porch is fire is firebolts sem verbal semantic in? okay um yeah. i i'll just like yell fire in hopes that it co kind of covers it up it's more of like a demand but if people start to look at me i'll be like fire fire because <laughs> i'll be like fire all right let's see fire? <laughs> let's see how distracted the crowd is by whatever is going on Oh boy, I have to roll a negative. <laughs> I, it's, it's a separate check. I mean, there's gonna be a chance just because there's a lot yeah. of people here, though. True. Hmm. All right, let's see. Where did my I thing tried. even go? <laughs> All right, Emily, I tried. <laughs> Finger guns. Pew pew. I appreciate it. Yep. All right, so we're just gonna roll a d20 here. Well, the majority of the crowd Ooh. doesn't pay much attention, but you definitely see some people looking at you as you scream it. And they just have confused Do we look notice? on their faces. Um, no, yeah, I'd say you guys are a little see? separate right now. Is, um, okay. Do we just see a house, like, light up? Yeah. <laughs> okay, sick. It doesn't light up, but you see, um, you know, just a, a warm glow from underneath one of the... We could be getting a fire ready to roast him like a marshmallow. Come on, we've got to go. All right, this is our only opportunity. I try to rip off the uh, executioner robes off of Rex. Okay. Do you robe this man? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Very forward of you, Shydock. I'm trying to wear my, my mask off. From what the end of the check is it to rip <laughs> someone's clothes off against a robe? To I mean, it, I mean it's rip. only the hood, but still. Is it, isn't he also, <laughs> just, like, just two hood, foot then. taller? Than, uh, is it, how? He's five feet taller. I'm pretty sure uh, how Rex tall is, like, is six, seven, six, nine. I'm five, nine. So you know what? I'll give you a chance. Give me a sleight of hand with disadvantage. With pleasure. Ripping the robes off of a giant dragonborn. Yeah, it's that's funny. This is gonna go well. Slight of hand. Eighteen. <gasps> wow. Uh, twelve disadvantage. Yeah. Oh. Mitch, mm. Could you roll? I suppose just a dexterity check to see if you can catch him before he does. Uh, dexterity, dexterity. Yeah. Like as soon as you hear, you feel uh, your mask being tugged on. And you just reach your hand out and grab his wrist. Do not hey. touch the hood. Okay, hood's off limits. Rex, can can listen. you go up there? Please. You, I know we're not close yet, but I consider you one of my bestest, 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 bestest friends. And bestest, 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 bestest friends do these sort of things for each other. Look, I have an idea. I think that we can... Fire! There's a fire! Oh. They're gonna kill him! Hold, Zig, I think I have an idea. I have an idea. Maybe if we pose as the executioners of this man, right? Mm -hmm. We were sent to to um to investigate. It seems the investigation already finished. They found the man. It is our is we take over our execution. Then we escape. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But we need Rex in as the executioner. He's the only one. They're not going to believe that I'm at. Well, I am covered in animal skulls. Maybe they'll minute. believe it. You know what? If it's you or me, Rex, if you're not going to be the executioner, I am. Hey, why, why am I posing an idea to break out a murderer from his execution? It's How, you or me, I... Rex. Who's it going right. to be? Uh, fine, fine, fine. Thank you. As you guys turn back towards the seed, you see people start to run in panic 
as they're screaming fire. Well, looks go, like go, 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 I'm gonna go, change again. I'm gonna... rising from one of the uh, buildings next to you. I'm gonna change again because if the guy like a, <laughs> a, on the pedestal saw me as like an Earth Genasi, I'm gonna switch to like like I can't change my height, but I'll switch to like. <laughs> do you like do know, a run a around the corner switch, walk around the other side? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> like, uh, or I'll do like, um, I don't know. I'll do like a high elf looking person. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Give me a stealth like, check just to see if you can get a moment. Where no one can make eye lines of you. Oh Ooh. yeah, it's it it's it all balances. You walk around one side of the smoking building looking like one person, walk on the other side looking completely different, completely seamless. I'm just and gonna like um, yeah, start to like run away. <laughs> with the with the panic, is there like someone? trying to like can I see if there's someone trying to maybe move the guy that for whatever reason we've all decided it's a good idea to save mm -hmm. you're welcome is there like someone like trying to grab him and move him so that he doesn't escape or something you see two of the guards that were previously standing next to the stage that kind of step on stage and begin looking around so they're kind of still like right up there next to him no would I be able to yet. from that distance would I be able to see the guards well enough to disguise myself as one using my magic? Um, probably. Is it the disguise self spell, I assume? Yes. Um, yeah, probably. You can get a good enough look. Okay. Then I would like to make myself look like one of the guards. <laughs> yeah. You use your spell, and suddenly, much like we saw with the other transformation you immediately look just like him and not just your face but the uh appearance of your armor as well shifts and glimmers until it appears mm. exactly like that of the uh, guard you see upon the stage is he like like it's still like much larger than the he does um, seem to uh be larger um than a guard but only marginally you, he almost okay. looks like he so has like... shrunken down a little bit as he cast his spell. all right cool all right cool <clears throat> Does this I work? Think this is our only opening. I'm not sure where the fire came from. Probably some lightning strikes from the Titan. But now is our opportunity to learn more and possibly save a man's life. Or possibly save his life and get us killed if he is indeed a murderer. But that's up for debate after. We'll take care yes. of him if he is. He's not a pet yet. Um, let's go. You just see the Genasi on stage yell, Somebody get the water! And, like, almost like clockwork, you see a bunch of the townspeople as if they've had to deal with fires many a times. <clears throat> they form a bucket brigade. You see a couple people lining up from two separate wells that are in the town, running buckets towards the fire, and, like, just a chain of people passing buckets along the way. And so the crowd is kind of dispersed, um, but the guards are still on the stage, as is the Genasi figure. Uh, would I be able to go up on the stage and try and persuade the guards to help the citizens while I'll take the prisoner? Ooh. Yeah. yeah. You walk right up onto the stage. Is that what you say to them? Yeah. All right. I'd be ahead. like, the citizens need more help. I can take care of the prisoner. Would you two be able to go help them? Make a persuasion check. Not an advantage because you're pretty much just able to do this because of your disguise. So regular persuasion roll. Ooh. I was like, no, no, we gotta, we gotta make sure five. that this guy is safe. The people know how to deal with the fire. It'll be completely fine. And yeah, they just kind of stay up, just looking around, trying to spot whoever started this fire, but they can't spot the uh, greenish Genasi figure that started it in the first place. Would we able to? Be, would we be able to see Rex having trouble getting past the guards? Um, you see the guard that Rex turned into walk up onto the stage just across from the very same guard he looks like. Um, can I, can I, I want to do something, but I don't know if Rex can, he'll figure it out. I, if I hide, like I try to hide behind something and then cast like Maximilian's Earth and Grass to like try and like lock the prisoner into place. Mm -hmm. Can I... Like make it look like it's more important that he needs to be moved now, so to help him get some advantage. That sounds like a possibility that you could try to make happen. Definitely. Okay. Now we're gonna need a sleight of hand as you cast that. 
spell and then some yeah, other rolls well, to see what the result of it is. But if this yeah, fails, I'm gonna I whisper back under my breath, like pull up my book in front of my face. Nemeny <laughs> 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 is just sitting there watching <laughs> all this. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Not helping at all. Grasp. Yeah, you see now the dwarf is like looking up, like kind of <laughs> even more panicked than he was before. Mm. I also like would make it so that the hand doesn't hurt him. Okay. Obviously, just like a grip, not like a titan. Very nice. Yeah, so. give me a sleight of hand as you cast that. Try not to get spotted casting spells. Yeah, at I'm the gonna stage. let you guys know now. Sleight of hand is not my specialty. Don't say that. <laughs> manifest good rolls. I manifested nothing. Well. <laughs> That's a good He's roll. good? Yeah, yeah I, that's not bad. I preyed upon the RNG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you got your face behind your book, and, you know, part of your casting is through the book as well. And the nature of mm -hmm. the earth and grasp, it springs up from the ground. So, yeah. Um, Mitch, you and the uh, guards next to you see, right as the one is looking at you with kind of a confused look on his face, um, you see a stone hand just grab the dwarf from um, under the stage. Ah, What's okay. happening? I casted magic so that way the dwarf can't move. I can still keep an eye on him, but I need you two to go help. Persuasion, Jack, please. Or deception, rather. Sorry, deception. Deception. Ooh! Yes. Let's go. All right, you two, try to find a person in the crowd. I'll stay up here, make sure a prisoner doesn't escape with him. Yeah. Hey Mitch, what's your uh, HP looking like? Pretty good so far. Well, if you had to put it on a scale from one to a hundred, what would it be? Almost all <laughs> of you are at full health right now. <laughs> you had a long rest. Full. Yeah. Yeah. On a it's scale of one to a hundred, it's looking like a uh, hundred percent right now. <laughs> oh, not the answer you wanted, son. <laughs> no, no. Cool. I would like to shoot a sleep pellet at the stage. Okay. Casting sleep on upon impact. Try and put everyone but Mitch asleep. Okay. Um, but it's all dependent on, on HP totals. Yeah. Let's go. So let's see that roll. Let me check on some health totals. <clears throat> 32. 32. That's a good roll. So you see on the stage, as you do this, um, immediately oh. the dwarf that was grabbed by the stone just falls asleep and his face collapses onto the stage with a little bit of drool trailing from him. And the two uh, guards that had just uh, stepped off the stage to go looking for people, just slump onto the ground face first. Mouth full of mud. I'm just like watching from behind a tree like, oh I'm, God. I'm very confused. <laughs> what is everyone doing? Careful, something's going on here, be ready. And he like- The first one worked. He like sets up his pickaxe and like a ready to fight stance as you see. <laughs> You see this guy, he just seems to, like, have, like, some sort of mining outfit with a bit, bunch of pins on him. And some more of that, like, leather armor with, like, just, like, glass beads all in it. As he's just looking around for whatever's causing all this chaos. So how many dudes do we have left that are the bad guys as of how I'm... As of what your character is yeah. uh, currently aiming to do? There is, seems the, uh... What do you have seen... Mitch transform into a guard and go on stage. Was it? Yeah, I mean, he right was. Next to each other. Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah absolutely. She's okay. been watching very intently. Yeah. So you can see the guard that was, um, that Mitch is, um, still up on there on stage as well as the Janasi. Okay, the so there's just one Janasi left. Yes. Um, if possible, I would like to try and give him fleas. Wonderful. Okay. Let's, uh, drop that ability in chat. Okay. okay. Um,. <laughs> Uh, this is the way this strategy is going. <laughs> All right. I think I know um, I think what you're doing, but I... infestation, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he needs. To I make... just want to make him uncomfortable, so he leaves. A Constitution saving throw. Wonderful. Please. So, I guess it's a good thing I made this guy a character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> I was like so on the fence about it. It's like they're not gonna do anything stupid, right? <laughs> they're not gonna kill my good NPC. That'd ah. be crazy. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, no, he gets fleas know. real bad. He starts itching at oh. his neck and just like hits himself a couple times. 
That's... Now I'm confused. Yeah, his his <laughs> confusion only earth? grows on his face. Don't worry, guys. I got him. The, As he the... takes two points of damage. <laughs> I'm just beyond confused on the stage. <laughs> it's like, at one point, you're like, okay, me, uh, stone hand. Okay, I can see where this is yeah, going. Yeah, exactly. And now everyone's asleep. What is happening? <laughs> now this guy's out. Please. please. <laughs> <laughs> Who else wants to add in? <laughs> the fire, it looks like, um, it started to like mitigate, and the townspeople have it under control as more buckets of water come. To Wick walks up oh, as oh, a dwarf. Oh. As a uh, as things start to calm down, I'll release the uh, earth and grass to make it be like, okay, you know, this was obviously to help keep the prisoner in place. Right. Um, yeah, totally. Now the situation is drastically changed. Definitely <laughs> wasn't to try and grab the prisoner and move them or something like that. No. No. Oh. <laughs> There's still a guard on the stage, right? Uh, there is the I... guy who is shouting at the we crowd, bag. and there is Mitch on the stage, who looks exactly okay. like a guard. Um, I want to take out a coin. Lovely. And take out my tinkering tools, and I want to smack the coin. <laughs> And I want to use my magical tinkering to create an object that has a odor or a non-verbal sound. And I would like, it is perceivable up to 10 feet. So I want to make it and then chuck it towards the stage. Okay. And I want it to be like the worst smelling fart you have ever smelt in your life. Just like, just I want to throw it up on stage and see if like the guard like gags and runs away, <laughs> like leaves. Yeah, so you, poor guy. You, you chuck this onto the stage, and then suddenly, uh, Mitch, your nostrils flare, and just oh. the, the scent oh. of the shelled leviathan's <laughs> excrement wafts oh. into your oh. nose. <laughs> oh God. And you see anything within ten feet. <laughs> you see the Earth Genasi on stage as well, and the dwarf just, <coughs> just That's he's struggling amazing. even harder now. Oh wait, no, he's, he's ready asleep, to just you frowning. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like, he like covers his uh, mouth. It's with like his smelling hand. salts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we gotta get this guy out of here. Something's going on. Watch my back. And he goes uh, affirmative. Door, goes to grab the dwarf. <laughs> And you see him kind of like sling the oh pickaxe onto his waist as he um goes to pick up the dwarf, and he uh, lifts yeah, him like over he, his shoulder. Yeah, and as he walks over, the the, the grass will go down. Okay. Because it was holding him up until I, I noticed yeah, so that they were like trying. The to facade move him or that you guys put together remains intact. <laughs> yeah, this really pointless facade. By the way, we've achieved nothing. <laughs> we've achieved absolute chaos, and that's about it. Your Mitch is trusting me. Welcome now. We're to good. being in a campaign with me. Um, <laughs> we have to do something, guys. He's taking him away. Is it time we just attack? I can drop kick him. I take a shot at the back of this dude's head. All right. Of the guard? Of yeah. the guard. Ha! Huh? Better not miss. Make an attack roll. <laughs> I'm gonna need to change my mind. Got that advantage because it's coming from behind. He wasn't uh, expecting it. Sneak uh, attack. I don't know if that's how uh, ranged attacks work like that. Yeah, no, he's all. Uh, if anything, you'll hit the dwarf. Oh no! <laughs> no, but yeah, I'm the you, dwarf. You see, um, as oh, just man. this small pebble just like hits against the side of the wall next to this guy after he picks up the dwarf. Yeah, he looks off to the side and just he begins walking off the stage and making his way towards one of the buildings. Wait, they're is both there... like so. This guard is with Rex is taking the prisoner to a building. Yes. I'm gonna like keep a distance, but I'm gonna kind of kind of trail him. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to walk to the nearest place where I can be in like the smallest corner possible, <laughs> and hide. And not because I don't want to be seen, but because I just don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's happening right now, I don't want any part of it anymore. I, don't, you know, I did my part. I'm um, going to need to change my alignment. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
I want to cast yeah, something. Absolutely. So I'm I'm an enemy just wants to get this little guy away from this dude. Um, so she's just gonna do what she did with the egg. He is currently her egg, and she's going to make him small. Er. Okay. So, casting enlarge or reduce. Okay. And he's unconscious. I don't know if that. Are you doing it on the auto uh, six seats? Sorry, was that on the dwarf Ooh. or the Janasi that's carrying him? <laughs> Let's make it the Janasi. Or do you uh, make Mitch my massive? God. No. <laughs> Many possible do targets both. for you. Just let me know what you'd like to do. <clears throat> what happened? Sorry. So do you want to target with the spell? Yeah, Janasi, okay. the dude. Uh, so I believe he makes a constitution saving throw to resist it. Yes. Okay. And your spell save is, well, high enough. <coughs> yeah, you see as this, like, nearly seven foot tall Janasi figure shrinks down to about, you know, a little under four feet. And kind of just uh, collapses to the ground as he, you know, mm. is about the size of this dwarf really right now. Mm. So <laughs> the dwarf's a little taller than him, in fact. Get him! And he just looks at his hands like, what's, what's going on? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Just look at uh, Rex, and I'm just yeah, like, so go on, on Rex. Time. Go, 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 yeah, go! I'm just go, looking, go. I'm like... <laughs> she's you just trying to be subtle, Rex. but she's not being subtle at all, like... You look around, you, look around, you see Shydock re, like, re, putting ammo back in his sling after whipping. You yeah. see Milo huddled into a corner, crying himself to sleep. You just you see, don't, can I? And then I back and forth from each leg. <laughs> can I make myself look like the, the, like the guy that just got shrunk? Yeah. <laughs> no. Sweet. You're going to be a like... bit shorter than he was, but you'll look like him. I'm going to be taller than what he is now. True. You'll be close to his original height for sure. I'm going to swoop <laughs> in and I'm going to like help Rex take him and be like, that that guy's an imposter. I'm like, I'll do it in his voice. No. But I'm, like, I'm like, that guy's an imposter. I'm going to help you with this guy. We need to get him out of uh, here. Uh, no, I, uh, I'm not the imposter. She's the imposter. <laughs> she just says from his four foot stature. I'm just going to walk away <laughs> with the dwarf or help you drag them. He's I'm not, not going to like all of them. Whatever he is. As this dwarf oh. just remains sleeping through this process. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just try and like pry his hand off of him. Right, I don't a, have a very uh, high athletics strength. Check. <laughs> oh no. Against his, will he fail miserably? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just like pulls your hand on. He's like holding on to your wrist now. Can I just see Let them struggling and like run in and try and kick this man? Yes. <laughs> sure. Oh no. Oh god. I don't know what I gotta roll, but I'm doing it. So when I look back at whatever is happening, right? Mm -hmm. Now I see two of this very short Janasi man. No, no, no. One is just a little shorter. Slightly the taller. Ones, the other is yeah, very one is slightly much taller. The one slightly. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm really, really confused. <laughs> Um, as you should trying be. to get him off me. Unhand me, random citizen! You're imp impersonating me! Well, you, I, go, I wanna uh, kick him! Guards! <laughs> this <laughs> man should be under run arrest! In and go, Wait, you. Oh, Which one no. is I am a goat, one? mind you. I've got hooves. Oh, Are we going dear. to jail in the first I place? hope so. <laughs> this was kick not the him. mission. Kick we him. have achieved nothing. We have not even found Sparkillis. We're gonna achieve it! You just gotta believe. You gonna go for a kick on him? Kick. All right. Uh, I don't think we have a kick set up for you, so just make a, a no. roll. We sh we should get a kick set, set up kick. though. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she's a goat, and I have negative one strength. I'm I give feel you like a I bonus need. To it, but okay. Your strength I was gonna is say. Kind of yeah, I I don't have much. Yeah, strength. you go to kick at him, and he just like puts his arm up and kind of blocks it from getting to him. What the heck? <laughs> I think Guards, uh, he some does, help over here. What are you he doing? He, looks at you, he has a disadvantage though as well, being small. So, uh, true. so it's with that roll, it's uh, would oh, I be able to tell? <laughs> yeah, would I be able to tell which one is the one that was shrunk, and which one is clearly one of my insane compatriots trying to solve this issue? <laughs> yeah, question, insane compatriot. When you do uh, morph to look like him, um, mm -hmm. do your clothes change at all, or? 
does everything change? Um, I can change my appearance and my voice. Let me see. Does appearance include clothing? <laughs> yeah, it might be worth looking into. But I'll say that for now, you can tell the difference between the two. All right. Well, this is height, a... weight, not my oh, size. Okay. You can make yourself appear as a member of another race, though none of your game statistics change. You can duplicate the appearance of a creature you've never... You can't duplicate uh, something I've never seen. You must adopt a form of the same basic arrangement of limbs that you have. <laughs> your clothing and equipment aren't changed by this trait. I think it's basically just disguise self with yeah. no clothing. Fair enough. Yeah. <clears throat> well, this is a terrible idea, but I see no other choice. So I point at the one that is dressed in the clothing that I recognize, and I go, this is up to you, a big time. And now I'm going to cast Enlarge on Wick. Oh, my. And make okay. him as big as the original guy. Yeah, now does it, like, double their size, I believe? I think it's doubled, yeah. yeah they are technically so, enlarged now. Well, it's doubled in all, all directions. Is it the same one I do? Yes. The target yeah. size doubles, but their weight their is also massive. multiplied by eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you're like <laughs> extraordinarily heavy. How tall? Yeah. You're also like ten foot tall. Yeah. I'm looking down at Rex. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> I didn't mean for this all to happen, but I'm just gonna take the tiny man and I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna look up at her like, whoa. The voice gets slightly deeper as well. Dude, mm -hmm. Well, I have it. his voice, and then it's oh, yeah. even deeper than that. <laughs> well, that whole lot of everybody. Oh, I didn't mean for this to happen. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Can I eat him again? Do I need to make another strength you check? You do need to make a strength check, but... Uh, Is it an advantage, or do I add something? You would have advantage now. Okay, so it's advantage. Yeah, they have advantage on all strength checks and strength saving throws. He okay. strength checks. And his weight is greatly reduced, so if you succeed, you do yeet him. 14. <laughs> all right, strength say, strength check. He also he has disadvantage. He, has, he exactly. still has disadvantage, yep. So it's advantage versus you disadvantage. You are Eight. so lucky. Are you? Yep. <laughs> no, it's disadvantage, what? so instead yeah. of the 23, that's an yep. 8. Oh, Let's go. that's why I was like, yep. oh my god. Yeah, so this guy loses his grip on the dwarf as he is tossed 10 feet across into a pit. <laughs> this 10 yes. foot tall version of him wearing different clothing. We should go. <laughs> can I pick up the dwarf? I'm going to try and pick him up so I can bring him with me. I think. Okay. Or did I'll, some... be... I'll pick up the dwarf and Anemone because she's really yes. small and I'll just have each of them in I'm a hand. I'm just cradling the dwarf and you cradle me and it'll be a big cuddle party. <laughs> So yeah. for the next minute, you're just carrying them? Yeah, I'm just going to run out of yeah, the city. Yeah, run. It doesn't last long. <laughs> run. Out of the city. So the Janasu kai Kaiju walks out of the city cradling a dwarf and a satyr right I'm now. just holding him like this, like, don't worry, you're going to be okay. <laughs> he wakes up with just this scared look on his face. It's okay. <laughs> I'm going to it's run in the direction opposite that they went and meet up with them around the other way. <laughs> yeah, Shydock would just drop follow after a Milo. Yeah, the oh. spin enlarge drops after. Oh yeah, so after a minute, you're going to go back to normal size, I'm which is going be to be an interesting experience. I just drop all of them. <laughs> yeah, you oh. pretty much you take off out of the town. This guy gets up off the ground, keeps shouting for the guards, and eventually some guards arrive as you guys are already taking off. And um, yeah. But you two shrink back <laughs> down and drop this guy as the dwarf hits the ground. He you know, is now fully awake. Scorpion. Rex has been sitting there like, up. what do I do? <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> okay, and just like run off. <laughs> just run with you guys. Pretend that yeah. you're chasing after them as a guard. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. don't. I I, oh, yeah, that's true. I'd still be the guard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. at this point. You are yeah. still very much looking like a guard. Yeah. And just behind you, some other guards finally arrive <laughs> and start to follow you in your noble charge against these <laughs> mysterious enemies. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, no. How long does the uh, disguise self last? I think it's like uh, an hour. hour. Okay. It so... lasts a while. So we're being I'm chased fine. I can do it as an action until I drop it. Oh, yeah, true. Yours is special. <clears throat> Mine's, like, constant. Yeah. So, like, 
I just run okay. and I guess I'll like, I hopefully before I like, like <laughs> face plant into the dirt, I'll mm -hmm. like try and like change again or like try and like dip behind like um, another building or whatever and like try and be like really quiet with them. Like I'll try and like cover both their mouths or something like. And just like hold them. Okay, I'll give Harry you a chance Potter to make a scene. stealth check. <laughs> the ears go first, then the fingers. <laughs> because you are a ten foot figure running away from a crowd of guards now. So. I'm looking to I'm looking to dip behind yes. somewhere, like after I like change. Like after like I've shrunk. Because I'm assuming like I shrink and I like fall and mm -hmm. they like scatter, and then I'll just like try and drag them behind a building like Ugh. Yeah, so just give me a stealth check to okay. kind of break their sight line when you're given that opportunity. No disadvantage Ooh. or nothing. What? A... Yeah. Wow, your rolls. Go. <laughs> Don't yeah. say anything. <laughs> They're you, good. You, you feel the magic starting to leave from you, and um, you uh, then you know quickly notice you know there's a big rock in front of you. Dip down, and um, then you know just roll in, tuck and cover. I'm gonna hold both of them like to me, like like backs to me, but I'm gonna hold their mouths and just like. Wait for the guards mm -hmm. to leave. Mm -hmm. Anemone, shut up. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Rex, what do you do? <laughs> Make a uh, perception check. Yeah, I was going to say, would I, would I have seen? Because I'm the furthest ahead. Yep, you have the best All chance right. of seeing. All right. So just because that's a crit, I'll give you a perception with advantage. You're close and you know what the situation <laughs> is roughly. But yeah, you did. You just see them fall and then kind of disappear. What do you do? Uh, and I'm assuming the other guards are going to show up any second now. They're like trailing a couple, you know, 10, 20 feet behind you at this point. Uh, can I tell them to go a different direction? Where, which way did it go? Where? I could have sworn the... they were over here. No, I saw them cut into the woods that way. Into the woods? All right, let's go. Should we split up? Yeah, I'll I'll still go this way just in case anyone else split off. Ah, oh, fair enough. Come you on. guys go that way. <laughs> and you see, like some take off one wrong direction, others take off the other wrong direction. Yeah. You take off straight. And uh, you know, one guard follows you. Okay. Oof. And yeah, but you managed to take off. And if you had turned around, you could probably see them in their hiding spot. But mm -hmm. you just keep going, as you know. As your suggestion was. Yeah. What are um, Shy Doc <laughs> and Milo doing right about now? Uh, so I so I assumed it's because the two of us are together. Yeah. Uh, we saw them leave one direction, <laughs> and so if they went left, we're gonna go right and then up and around or something, or like a down and around or somehow, like kind of loop back towards the direction they went. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look like we're trying to follow them. I like your idea a lot better than mine. In, in preference, I'd like to come back towards the town on the road that they would have left, as if we're like traveling back towards the town. Okay, make a stealth and check. I'll, I'll, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, real low DC. I'll give, yeah, I'll, I'll tell Shydock all that as well. Like, that's the plan. Yeah, because you guys weren't really, except for, you know, shooting a uh, slingshot at the guy directly involved in this chaos. And by the time oh, yeah, and the giant thing, rock hand. Yeah. We weren't involved at all. Not noticeably. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, stealthy said, right? Yeah, nice, easy stealth check. There it is. Uh, yeah, you managed to pull that off. Ooh. Yeah. Kind of make a big circle yep. around the edge of town. Yeah, so as we're walking back, I'm going to keep, like, a lookout for them as well. It's like... Where did they go? Where did they go? Where did they go? These maniacs. Where did they go? Where did they go? Oh, God. It's like hyperventilating. such like hyperventilating on the road. This is the patatier. Anemone! Wick! You can hear me! Zip! Zip! Anemone! Wick! Can you hear me? That was... Never mind. Do I see, like... Uh, Rex run by like with the other guards uh, like at any point or like are we too tucked away you do see the two guards take off into the forest but I'll say since he did literally morph into one of the ones that was there and you had to dip behind and hide you can't quite tell that it's him mm, okay 
but as I see the guards run by, I'm gonna wait like a minute or two. And like at that minute, like she's like changing from like the like nervous and then like the angry. So she's like, at one point she looks blue and her skin looks like it's dripping. And then at another point, their skin looks like red and like jarring and elongated. And it's just like her having like an inner turmoil of like, what do we do? What do we do? What have we done? What the fuck have like, mm-hmm. we done? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I let Anemone go. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I just, I just have a question. What is your question? Are you a mood ring? What? Well, you change no? color. Okay, never mind. All right, we need to get out of here. And I think I have a plan. Anemone, could you make a perception check? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Perception. Ah. Oh. Cool. Carry on. Okay. Is it I a, have... the dwarf still unconscious? No, he's, no, he's just awake. Like exasperated, just. Okay. He's been through a lot in the past, not only day, but the last 25 minutes. Mm-hmm. By, by chance, walking back on the road, did we at least witness the running of Rex? Like down the road or something. I'll say other since they were taking trying... off and you were trying to be sneaky about it, he's already past the point where you uh double back okay. into town. Okay. What's your what's your question? That was my question. Is what what if you were oh, motoring? Oh uh Um okay, so no. what should we do now? Should we escape or should we keep looking for sparkles? Uh, Shush uh, Okay, what Timmy? It... Timmy, you gotta be quiet. Is him? What if Wait, this is him? Timmy, is your real name Sparkles? Not sparkles, uh, Bar- it's Sparkleus or whatever. What is the name? It was Sparkelius, but who likes Cole. that name? It's Sparkles. What's your name? Hold his shoulders and like <laughs> shake them lightly. What's your name? Colt. Colt. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, he's not Sparkles, so we still need to find Sparkles. Um. But people are also trying to kill us right now. You see him lift so... his finger and point forwards. Ah, no, no. I grab his finger and I'm like, "Did you kill somebody?" Cole. What? What? Is he cold? Is, he saying... is cold? that is... Gold. or galt? And you hear a um bleat. Wait, is he from... saying goat? You hear a bleeding coming from a tree. Um, just ten feet <gasps> away. From... <gasps> Wait, my people. Hi, little goat. I'm still holding his shoulders. You see his like eyes kind of... just flicker and spark for a moment. <laughs> Do you want a snack? He trots up to you a little bit. I rummage in my bag of what I have left from the dolphins, and I offer him a handful of granola. His? Did you say his eyes spark? Yeah. Like visibly with like lightning. Lightning, magic, something. Anemone. Yeah. I think think that's Sparky. Wait. Oh no! No. Oh no! Wait, what check? Animal handling. Yeah, it happily eats the snacks you provide to it. You feel like a little bit of, you know, not like painful electric shocks, but just like when you get, you know, shocked from a fuzzy sweater or something. It tingles. (laughs) You feel it sparking through you as he happily scarfs up the food. Do you think this is sparkles? Yeah, I do. I put the the guy, the dwarf down. Is he yours? No. Is this Sparkles? I no. Timmy, you have to help us. Listen, Timmy. He just like rubs his head. <laughs> okay, uh, don't go anywhere, Timmy. This is important. I turn back to the goat. Are you Sparkles? <laughs> It sparkles. Do you have a Do way you... to talk with him? Like, yeah. actually? Yeah, I can talk to animals. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I would like to cast speak with animals. <laughs> Meh! <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there, you want to a snack giver, you. Oh, I don't God. suppose you got a few more of those snacks where that came from, do you now? Cassidy. I have. 
That is one sultry <laughs> voice for a goat. It's <laughs> high noon. It's high noon up in this here pen. I got all the snacks you could ever want. Are you Sparkles? Well, I know, but I could certainly take you to him. Wait, do you know where Sparkles is? Define Sparkles. But Sparkelius or Spark Sparkelius. Sparkelly, which one? I turned back to um, Wick, and I'm just like, meh! Oh, <coughs> I mean, um, is, was it Sparkalius or Sparkelius? You said the same thing! I, the, the Cali or Cal... Cal I, the goat is confused. I think it was Sparkelius, right? You have to be talking Calius? about my main man, Sparky. Sparky. Bah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can you take us to one? Uh, me and Sparkelius the 13th go way back. I don't know if it was the 13th. I have a letter I need to give him. Hmm. I'm also a wanted criminal. You. All right, well, I don't think we knew that we were dealing with wanted criminals. Now. No, 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 no. But I no, it's it's not like what it sounds. I saved this guy. He was going to get murdered. Are, are you the Titans watch people that yeah. we're supposed yeah. to be meeting yeah. with? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. I'm one of them. I don't know how I got this gig, You're but I did. They promised me than snacks. I was expecting now. Oh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I would say that um, from what we're expecting is one thing, uh -huh. and then, but I prefer this one. Really, I do. I like you. You're a good goat. I like you too. You're good, whatever you are. I I'm a satyr. Half goat, half person. Hmm. I'm a cat. Anyways. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I don't know what it means, but I was told that. I like corn. Uh, so you can take us to Sparky? Got the juice. Sure. Okay. He's going to take us to Sparky. He's going to take us to uh, Sparky. <laughs> you just walk up to them now, and she's just bleeding at this goat as it's going. <laughs> Matt, Matt, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt. I look at <laughs> Matt. <laughs> I Matt, just see her Matt. like flailing her arms as she's talking to it. She turns around to me and just like, she's gonna, he, he, they're gonna take us to Sparky. He's gonna and take just, us like, there. Putting the dwarf down, like. I look at Shardock and I go, I <gasps> maybe we pretend we do not know these people. <laughs> they are talking to a goat. <laughs> Wait, have you walked up at this point? Have you? Have well, you yeah, we us? walked up at the very yeah. end there. Oh, uh, okay. They walk up to mid goat speak. Um, the goat, the goat, uh, guys, guys, the goat is going to take us to Sparkelius. That is he stomps his hooves on the ground. I don't know what to do with this guy. I reach my hand oh, out. I'm going to take him. I'm going to take uh, Timmy. And I pick Timmy up. How big is Timmy? It's just under your so, size, really. Maybe oh, so he's big. I don't know who this is now. So and I was just helping an We just saved a criminal. If we do not know who they are, and they are not even the person we are looking Wait. for. Did you Wait. commit the murder? Is this not the d dwarf? It is it the dwarf, yes. It is. Okay. Yeah. That, okay, look. Everybody, Timmy, Timmy, everybody. Timmy okay. is our new crew member, and this is my friend, the goat. Oh, I'm so sorry. Meh. Goat, what was your name? No, no. No one's ever asked me that before. But oh, that's so sad. Well, I've, I'm simply referred to as <laughs> Goat Meal. Goat Meal? That's not. That's a beautiful name. Well, I thought it was a, well, I thought it was don't a rather silly name, personally. But I've, do you? It's music do you want it? I can. Yep. I'm really good at names. Do you want me to give you a new name, or I'm, do you like Goat Meal? I think I like goat meal now. I okay, what goat my meal. Original name was my mama gave to me, but oh, I think there is only one solution to the problem that we have presented ourselves with. By the goat turns goat. to you and just shrieks. The go goat. The ah! goat doesn't like you. He does. The... Listen, with this goat, he's a smart goat. He knows who Sparkelius is. We're bringing Timmy with us, okay. and we're gonna go see him. I okay, did not question. I keep your voice down. I did not... You guys don't trust me. I, I did not trust you. I'm taking him with us. I I merely said the beginning of my sentence. You did not give me a chance to finish. 
Okay. I was going to say the goat is, is it Sparkelius goat? is the in the town we just ran from. Oh, a uh, goat is Sparkelius in the town we just ran from. Well, of course he is. He's dealing with a house fire at the moment. Oh, he's dealing with the house. Oh. Um. <clears throat> yes, he's in the town. He's currently putting out a fire. Um. Uh, ironically enough, it's crazy because we just started a fire and he's putting out a fire. But surely it's just a coincidence. We, it's not the same one. Wait, wait, wait. When did we, we start it? We don't when know. We She's talking to a goat. We don't know. You saying that you're the one who burned up all my hay? You see his eyes just um, the spark and so just Sparkelius. dies down for He's... a moment. No, uh, goat meal. I'm not the one who burnt up all of your hay. Um, it was actually a friend of mine. Um, but she's not here at the moment. Where is she? Um, <laughs> Puts his I down. will. <laughs> I I can take you to her. Um, I can also get you more hay. Um, because it was an accident, you see. His eyes sparkle um, again. Um, I, I can get you more hay, uh, and, uh, I, I can make this right, because it was an accident, okay, goat meal? You gotta trust me here. You us goats? We gotta stick together. Is sure, is, what? Will. And how many, what is he saying? You mean to make it a better he's, situation. He wants to no help you. But what? I trust you. Okay, cool. I, I trust you this... too, goat meal. Um, but... like <laughs> oh. This has been a lot of talk. Is Sparkelius in the town or not? Yeah, okay, I turned to you. Yes, Sparkelius is in the town. We're gonna go see okay. him, right, goat meal? So, we are currently Oops. wanted criminals from the town. Mm -hmm. The only solution is to turn in the man we tried to break free. He is clearly a murderer and he was on trial for a reason. Does anyone have an ability to like get the truth out of him? No. Uh, I mean, I have the ability to get truth as a people, but um, this might be a bit uh, crude. But I can try it nonetheless. Try it. See if he is a murderer, and I'll show you that he is a good dwarf. Okay, if you say so. <clears throat> I'm gonna walk over to the dwarf then. This is so against all of my practices and my beliefs. <laughs> I cannot believe I am doing this, but this is for the good of the world. <clears throat> I'm going to pick up the dwarf's chin, and I'm going to snap my fingers. Watch and, where uh, you put those fingers. Uh, well, you might want to watch where you're putting your chin, and I'm going to say something in like another language, probably Elvish. Uh, and a, like a little fire bolt is going to form at the tips of my fingers. Now, my friend, tell me the truth. Are you a murderer? Did you steal the glass or not? And kill the no. person. Did you kill the person? Yes. No. Or no in the fire. It's a little hotter. I didn't you did do not. It. So you think you are innocent. Then you should be able to protect yourself in the woods. Uh, all right. But. Okay. But so I want going. Timmy to come with us. The, the problem, my young and naive druid friend, he is a wanted criminal in the town. Yeah, so are we. So we belong together. We can turn this man in and absolve ourselves, maybe, if they are so kind. Or we can let him run. And then we walk into town, do not know where the man went. He ran off, stole our goods. And we are innocent. I don't want to run away. Well, you then want... you're going okay. back to the town to be executed. Wait. Hold on, hold on. Why not? What's going on? Tell us your side of the story so we can understand. It's my home. I have a family here. No, he has a family. Family that almost just sold me get murdered. Executed. That's sad. And we saved you. What happened in the mine? I, I don't know. Something happened and someone fell. That's all I know. Okay. We're climbing okay. the ropes. His rope broke, mine didn't. Then they told me I stole all these things I didn't steal. Went into my home, found things I didn't put there. 
you think you have been set up then? I don't know why anyone would set me up. Maybe to get away with their own crimes? You are the, what do they say, escape goat. If I look at the goats? other two goats. <laughs> <laughs> do I believe, do I believe him? Yeah. An insight check. Like a, also with mine. Go for it. Since I'm currently invest yeah, interrogating him in the worst possible way. Mm -hmm. uh, insight. No. Uh... Mm -hmm. You think he's being honest with you. He still seems a little dazed, though. Mm. Mm. So why don't... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why don't we... Mm -hmm. See if we can solve the mystery. The murder mystery. If I that is... Don't go back. They're gonna blame my family. But if possible? we can absolve you... And then your family quick. will hurt. Is it is possible with our relationship with Bacchelius? What if and... we adopt his entire family and that... bring them with us? No, that is a bad idea. If if they are this, we children... can have a whole herd of you under... dwarves. My, my... We're on a mission. It's oh. very dangerous mission, and it is not a good idea to put the small children in the danger. Well, we don't know that he has small children. Got two little girls. Oh, Small they're probably children. so cute. Yes, it, it would be a shame if they were to pass away into the, <sighs> the night because of us having to deal with the Titans. No? Yes? I guess. Maybe we can barter a deal with the town. Yes? We go in. We say, this man is innocent and we are going to prove that he is innocent. Give us some time to prove he is innocent, and we solve the mystery of the cattle and this, the misplaced goods. Um, okay. I, I like I this plan. I probably shouldn't be there. Um, we have another issue. Oh, God. What, what could be wrong now? Um, so, we need to replace all the hay that one of our friends burnt, even though she's not here right now. Otherwise, goat meal is going to be very upset and um, probably hunt her down. One, one of our friends fire? Wait, that fire was not the lightning? Dude. Also, no, the question. Question. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where, where is uh, the tall dragon man? Speaking of which, we cut into <laughs> the middle of the woods. <laughs> <clears throat> As two <clears throat> guards that look like they could be twin brothers are just looking around. <laughs> you see anything yet? Uh, no. Not, 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 nothing yet. Uh. Meanwhile, and he's, he's like, I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill them. I think they want us to get somewhere. Right? <laughs> what do you yeah, call somewhere all anyway. Uh, I don't know. I mean, all of a sudden, you know, our uh, captain uh, shrunk, and then uh, another person grew big, and I don't really know what happened from there. Make it, it was just make a deception very check. Confusing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um... It's crazy, everything going on back there. Stuff lighting yeah. up. I didn't even hear no thunder. I I know, right? Isn't that strange? <laughs> he just looks at you with a confused look on his face. Yeah, real strange. You said um they shrunk down the captain, right? Yeah. So it seemed to be done with some sort of magic. Oh, man. Man, okay. Captain Outlaw just can't get the can't get any luck, can he? <laughs> no, not not really. <laughs> he pulls out his spear and points it at you. Oh, okay, all right. His name's not Captain Outlaw at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I assumed that. 
<laughs> and then I drop. Who are you? I, I, dro I drop the spell. <laughs> and I'm like way taller than yeah, the guard friend. originally thought. <laughs> All right. You, you take it easy now. I'm warning you. Uh, would I be able to cast a spell on him? Uh, yeah, you have a chance. Um, but uh, I'll say just for funsies, mm -hmm. if you try to cast a spell, you're going to need to do initiative first. Oh crap! Oh, it's boy. an old Western standoff. <laughs> All man right, with the magic versus man <laughs> with a spear. I'm game. Overseer. I'm game. <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't know that, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I'm game. That's this is great. This is amazing. <laughs> this is so good. This is perfect. If this only is everything I had this mission nice was supposed Western to be. Music to play right now. <laughs> 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 All right, make that initiative roll. All right. Draw. Bro. <laughs> oh, I clicked he readies his spear oh, with an 11. What are you going to cast? Go through? It did go through. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't click my token. That's why. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. It's just two people. We don't need it on the screen. Yeah. So. What, yeah. what spell are you going to cast? Uh, I was going to cast Lizard's Tongue. Okay. What's it look like as you begin to cast that spell? Uh, I slowly put my my finger in front of my mouth as I start to, like, kind of seductively whisper in my native tongue. Yeah, he sees it. you look like you're about to cast some magic after immediately um, hey, transforming hey. before his very eyes. And hmm. he, he immediately goes to stab his spear at you. Yeah, so. yeah that's fair. He's going to go for a poke. Try to get you yeah. right before you get that spell off. Now, he rolled a 12. Mm -hmm. What is your AC without chainmail armor? That's a great question. What is your dex? I don't know. It's <laughs> base plus your dex. Oh, no. So it's what like 10, 10 plus 10 your dex. What's your dexterity? Fire? What's my dexterity? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's a 13. Okay. It's plus one, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you go to, um, he goes to stab a spear at you as you're casting the spell, but you're able to, you know, move to the side of this spearhead about to hit you in the neck. Mm -hmm. And your spell goes off. So what do you do? Oh. First, he just takes a minute. He's just like, ha! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Ow. he steps back and is like getting ready to poke again at you, doing a little circling. Yeah. So, in case you don't know what lizard's tongue does, yep. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and post I'll, it. I'll, I'll, I'll drop that. Uh, it allows me to charm a humanoid. Uh, okay. And it makes it so we are now basically friendly acquaintances. If he fails his wisdom saving throw, let's see. Um, I'll say since he did win the initiative battle then you are mm -hmm. considered fighting him right now he did just stab a spear at you so he has advantage yeah. on his wisdom save he rolls That's with a 19 that one was sitting there taunting us for a while too man <laughs> so your like lizard's it. tongue spell does not work he shakes his head for a moment and then goes in with another spear stab at you as you're trying to get into his head and misses yet again you're slippery <laughs> seven foot tall dragon man very <laughs> look he's this is above his pay grade man he's just trying his best like he didn't uh, even deserve well... battle music to get put on we all know what could happen here <laughs> <laughs> all right well Bash i his guess head in. <laughs> i guess since uh spells aren't working to charm him i guess you're gonna, gonna need to surrender to <laughs> uh, or i'll gonna get you fight. <laughs> Um, I would like to cast Sacred Flame. Okay. It's a wisdom He's save from him from to... Uh... I, I am lagging, so I don't know if it's going through or not. <laughs> okay, well, I'm pretty sure it's a wisdom save that he'll have to make to uh, prevent it. I don't think it went through, but either way, it's going to hit once you roll okay. it. Because his wisdom save um, was garbage. And yeah. Five. <laughs> Just suddenly, save. what's it look like as you uh, cast this spell? Uh... I slowly oh, no. let a yellow, holyish-looking flame go between my hands, 
and then I proceed to grab it with my, my hand and swing it around and throw it. <laughs> yeah, and as you do that, it hits him, like, right on the chest, and it just, like, flares up in his face, his beard, and just becomes singed at, like, mm. every tip of it right now, and he takes five points of damage. Now look, I don't <laughs> want to kill you, <laughs> but you need to relax. <laughs> He's, like, questioning whether he should point the spear back at you or not right now. Yeah. He, like, takes a now, step back. Yeah. I'm not trying to hurt you, but I need you to relax. Oh, I'm relaxed. You're going to turn yourself in. <laughs> uh, uh. He definitely is. Fightable. <laughs> <laughs> need a performance check on that. You're going to turn yourself yeah, in. Let's, let's, let's do a little intimidation check on you. So uh, he's going to roll a nice juicy five. five. <laughs> <laughs> not the mischief. If only he had advantage, it would have been a 20. But yes. unfortunately, he's not that intimidating, apparently. After missing would I be able to intimidate like back? Yeah, you may. His boots. All right. What do you say to intimidate this man? What do you do? Now, look, I don't know if you know my kind, but we used to eat your people a lot. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having another meal today. So relax. Go ahead and make uh, that roll. A small goat lady ate all my food, <laughs> so I'm definitely hungry. <laughs> See if he has the courage to persevere. No, he doesn't. He really doesn't. <laughs> all right. All right, I'm going to put my spear down. You're not going to do anything funny. I promise. He chucks it against the side of a tree really quickly. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Now, what's we going cool? on? We cool, we cool. I got no weapon. Hold up. Pulls the dagger off his belt. I got no weapon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Takes his boot off with the, with the boot dagger in it. <laughs> <laughs> now, look. I'm not from here, clearly. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> but. But. I need to know what that commotion was all about. What was up with the dwarf? Why were you trying to execute? Well, you stole from the man. Stole what? Titan glass. Okay, what is Titan glass? It's one of the most valuable things we can get here. It's you know, the only thing decent enough to make weapons out of that won't get you shocked by the very forces above you. I see. So you use it basically to protect yourselves from this. <laughs> yeah. You know, some people across the seas, you know, pay a pretty penny for it, make jewelry or whatnot out of it, and. But. It's kind of important to us. So if someone goes stealing, like, what was it they said, a hundred pounds of it? Maybe more? It's a bit of a big deal. Especially if you might have killed someone to keep secrets about it. So not only is he up for thievery, but he's also up for murder. Fun. Yeah, so now look, I personally don't mind the occasional execution. I find it quite fun when you guys accidentally just murder each other for no reason. But... Sometimes you need to look at the bigger picture and figure out if there's even any evidence against this man. I found some of the stone material in his house. Okay. I picked it up under his bed myself. That's understandable. If he has stolen the goods, that makes sense. But can you justify him being executed for a murder you may or may not know if he did it or not? It's just the code we live by. Well, your code's stupid. He knew what he was doing when he signed up to work in the mine. <clears throat> I mean, it's, I'm not signing up to work in that mine. It's dangerous. Go, so, going inside a this. Titan? Phew, not for me. Hmm. So, how about you and I just walk back to town, pretend this never happened, and I don't remember what you looked like. Maybe I hit my head on a tree. Sure, let's go with that. If you keep your mouth shut, I'll keep my mouth shut. Deal? Make a persuasion check. Deal. <laughs> Make an insight check. <laughs> uh... <laughs> He says deal. All right. I 
be yes, I begin to walk back to town. <laughs> Meanwhile, more confused than ever. You all just realized, yeah, that big guy's missing, isn't he? <laughs> What's up with that? Ma. <clears throat> so, our plans are to either go and hand in this person and try and strike a deal or try and sneak through town and meet up with Sparkelius who might be able to get us out of this? That is a possibility. I see uh, one issue uh -huh. uh, with the sneaking plan. The seven foot tall dragon man who has still yet to show up at this point mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is also myself not is exactly a sneaky type. Um, is it is probably better. Is also, also a not a currently wanted like you are. Um, so it is possible that I could I'll walk let into the goat town. Know that. <laughs> I think the goat has been hearing our entire conversation. Personally. Oh, he's been listening. Yes. No, I meant like the specifics. Uh, I do not know what you. I are have an idea. About. What is it? The okay. goat and I yes. could go into town. We could go get Sparkelius, and we could bring him back here. I see one flaw with that issue. What? You are probably the most wanted out of all of us. I, c I have a fix to that. How? How? Explain. Please explain your solution. I would like to turn myself into a goat, please. Before you, you see where once was this, you know, confusing half goat woman. You see her emerge into <clears throat> a goat, not far from the look of Goatmeal himself. Simply without the same sparkle in the eye. I'm gonna just look at Wick and I'm gonna go. And then I'm gonna glance over the Shy Doc and go, What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, think I should be their handler if I I'm think being on it. It is best if the handler is myself or Shy Doc. I would probably I blend in the, the best out of us. Yes. Is this shorter? Is more? Is I kind of look at my clothes. This is not exactly the garb of the people around here. I think I would stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, same. So maybe. <laughs> <it is. laughs> By... All right, <laughs> let's settle then. Goat meal, lead the way. We'll be back shortly with yes. uh, Sparkelius. I mean, has you blankly? Has Wick We're made gonna... it like? Apparent that uh, are you hiding the fact that you can be a cha can change or are you just in front of us? It doesn't matter. Um, you've seen before like the okay. blue and red kind of come through a little bit. Um, okay. and I so, would have probably reverted back to like the, the original human, okay, elven looking girl that I normally am. So, because hmm. no only... one technically saw me like that, they saw me as the other personas, mm -hmm. yes. I saw her, but I'm a girl. No. Is it possible to modify your clothing so that you are less like the person that was clearly a large version? I'm sorry, that was my fault. Um, um I could like put like change. Th these are all separate individual cloth pieces, so I could like take a couple minutes and like rearrange them, maybe, or put my... some of them in my bag. That is a possibility, because the only solution is that the shy dog guides the two goats together into the town, and that's because I am not as they wanted clearly, because I was not involved in the hunt, in the chaos, it was mm -hmm. unlikely that anyone would have seen me. It's best if you stick with me in this case, and we follow okay. closely, not closely, but a little bit far behind the two goats and shy dog, so that okay. not look um, too suspicious. Should we find Rex first? Should Let's we separate hope... you two and you two go to find the dragon? And it is we'll meet possible. Back here? It is possible that the two of us could wait for Rex to show up. Or 
and the two goats and the small Shadok go in first. And then we mm -hmm. go meet up with them. I'm assuming we know what building, because it was the one that was on fire. And I <laughs> saw the one that was on fire. Do not know what caused the fire. I assume some kind of lightning. But that is it. So is it possible? We are wait for Rex. We hope that Rex makes it back. Or? Yeah. Okay. So you guys go. Um, yes. And then I'll, we'll, we'll wait here for Rex. And I'll like change my appearance. And then we can is meet up with you. Idea. Okay. Well, then it is settled. We have a plan. I wait, grab anemone. Hold face on. The goat. only wait a minute. We're missing one issue. The dwarf. What are we going to do with the dwarf? You, you need to be very, very good, and you need to follow Shy Doc. Okay. Wait, why is he coming with us? Hmm. No. Why is the dwarf she, coming with us? No, she was grabbing my face. I was grabbing. Oh, okay. I was grabbing anemone. You were grabbing Timmy's face. I'm like, no, why? no, no. <laughs> I was Poor doing that. Good little grab. dwarf. <laughs> no, I was doing that to Anemone. To like okay. Keep her I guess in the meantime, the two of us could figure out, and maybe with yep. Zerkis' help, could figure out what <laughs> to do with the criminal possibility. Okay. <laughs> I do not know what to do right now. This is a problem that seems unsolvable. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh dear. Um, you guys go. Go get Sparkelius. Meh. Okay. Meh. <laughs> I turn and I follow goat meal. Yeah. By chance, <laughs> is the amount of time that we wait for Rex a short rest? You can begin a short rest for sure. Okay. I'm going to start taking some of the layers off and putting them in my bag and like putting them yeah. over top of my yeah. chest plate as like a disguise. Different outfit thing going on. Yeah, kind of. Roughly. While Bring some that. of them up, make a halter, attach them in the back, stuff like that. Yeah, and while you're doing that, I'm just going to meditate in the corner, elven style, and uh, use my arcane recovery to get some spell slots back. Because I use two level two spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. So, right. yeah. Okay, so who shall we start with first? Um, two goats walk into a village. Let's finish that. <laughs> the start of some joke somewhere. Yeah, let's finish that. <laughs> so you see, as um, yeah, goat meal begins trotting towards the uh, just barely smoking building now. <laughs> you are gonna love this place, you know. Of course, there's a little bit of fire damage going on right now. Oh, really? It's, it's quite the fixer up, you know. Got a nice warm place to lay. All the oats oh. you could ever want right now. It's, <gasps> it is it sounds nice, awesome. Cozy fire. Wait till you meet Spark. He's a good guy. Now, he's he's an interesting fella, but you know, good good guy. Good guy. Always took care of me, so I'll take care of him. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, as you hear these two goats bleeding to each other, Shadok, you find yourself in front of the uh, smoking building that you were near. The crowds have seemed to uh, kind of started to dissipate. The bucket brigade has broken down. The danger is no longer at bay. And uh, a couple guards like looking around trying to figure out what happened, but it seems that the uh, hectic events of prior are no longer in action. All right, goat meal. Which one? Which one is it? He, like, knocks on the door. <laughs> I also knock on the door. Yeah. You knock on the door. And... Nothing happens. Oatmeal, where's... Where's Sparkelius? <laughs> he, like, lifts his hoofs up and trots against the door a little bit. Sparkelius, open up! We know you're in there. No voice returns to you. Are you sure this is the place, Goat Meal? Of course it is. This is my home. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like Sparky's home right now. He's Should... in there. We just need to wake him up. Oh. 
Okay. I can do that. <laughs> For uh, outside perspective, we could each hear each other bleeding from other rooms in this house, and then I screamed, and <laughs> the dogs heard it as well. <laughs> They're fine with me screaming, but as soon as he did. <laughs> I mean, there must be some dogs in this village. Um, we're making them pretty angry. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you just hear from the uh, other side of the door, you hear the uh, a lock begin to become undone. I, I think we did them. it. <sighs> Go meal, I thought I told you not to be knocking at this time of day. <laughs> oh, I see you happen to have brought a uh, lucky lady home with you. Is it finally time to start back up the goat herd? Is that about what's going to happen right now? Is it going <laughs> to be is that what's going to happen? Well, Lucky, you, who's this random guy? Did you bring my oh, hi, back on to me? Hi, th hi sir. I'm uh, Shydog. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you, too. Are you the uh, owner of this uh, fine, lovely young goat? That's a, yeah, it's a female goat, right? I can tell. Yeah, yes. I'm the, I'm the owner, yes. Well, um, so um, thank you for bringing my goat meal back to me. He would have found his way back home on his own, but happy to see that you found him, too. So, Well, he's actually the one that wanted us to talk to you. Sure he was. Is that right, Gold Meal? You, you little slayer, you. Yeah. All right. Um. So, is there some sort of business we're trying to get into right now? We... <laughs> My uh, compatriot here is saying that uh, we were told to visit you once we got here. We're with the Titans Watch. Y are those people? We are those people. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know they were sent. You just find the goat, or the goat come with you? Oh, traveling all the way here on the, on the turtle with us. Wonderful. Well, good to know. Good to know. We have uh, plenty of... Hey, where are the rest of y'all? Isn't there supposed to be five? I only count two. Yeah, they're, they're back, in, back in the woods just hanging out. We're actually going to take you back there to go talk to them. <laughs> that sounds like some shady business if I ever did hear so myself, but I am happy to head into the woods with you mysterious men and go <laughs> meet this group of people I've never met before in my life. Let's go. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. We got this town, some crazy stuff started happening. We just want to kind of stay out of here. Hey, what's your possible. name, by the way? Shy Dog. Nice to uh, meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Shy Dog. <laughs> I am, of course, Spock Elias the 13th. Good to meet you. Not to <laughs> be used with this my is my compatriot, Miss Monet. But, nice but, to meet you, Miss Monet. I'm sure you meant goat meal. His name is Goat Meal, by the way. Because, <laughs> you know, he likes oatmeal and he's a goat. So, Goat Meal <laughs> seemed like a great idea at the time. Well. Are you coming to Goat Meal? Of course I am. Wherever Sparkelius <laughs> goes, so do I. Nice. <laughs> well. Most sultry voice. I think now that we got a uh, smoke damage cleared out, must have gotten struck by a little bit of lightning earlier. Weird, because we got a special on and above for that, but crazier things happen here. Thought I knew everything, and there is no bad fool, man, but you learn something new every day, don't you? Yeah, yeah, some crazy, crazy weather around here, for sure. Fair enough. Did they kill that guy yet? No, I guess not. Oh, well, maybe they do. Anyway... I guess uh, lead me to these random people out in the random place where I'm not going to get murdered or anything like that. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> well, yeah, so what do you know about that guy who was about to be killed? Well, from what I heard, he's been stealing. Murdering. All kinds of nasty business. That happened a lot around here? Uh, no, 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 no. Someone, I mean, I think one time in my life someone was caught stealing from the mine and, well, they were beheaded instantly. So this guy's... He's done a lot better for himself, but, I mean, at least that guy was given a proper sending off across the lake, but I think they were going to try to bury this guy or something. Yeah, I heard that. Did, did you know Timmy or whatever this guy's name was? T Timmy, no. You mean Tommen? That, that's the one. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I knew of him. Bless. <laughs> wouldn't say we're friends necessarily he never seemed like a bad guy though but <laughs> i think you know a guy <laughs> is, is she in heat or something going on right now because 
I, I'm not prepared for this type of situation. I mean, it's been a while. I'm sure it's been a while for goat meal, too, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, I but, promise you, Miss Monet can handle herself just all fine. All right, if you say so. Do we need to give these to a room or something? Or <laughs> <laughs> When nature calls, they'll find their own spot. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> you see goat meal lean over to you. Don't you worry, miss. I'm a gentleman, and I will do no such thing until a time and place where thou you are ready. I knew it. Roll me a seduction check. <laughs> For the first time ever, Anemone says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like... I... So... Can, can goats blush? Yeah, can she <laughs> blush? Just like, big she's blushing, all right. Anime blush like circles come off. Yeah, the, <laughs> like, the ones that come off the face. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get the lines in them. <laughs> oh my god! All right, hip two. Let's move it. All right, let's head back. I start leading him out of town, back into the meanwhile. Street. We see um. Well, you guys, as you're taking your short rest, you manage to see Rex and the guard walking back towards town. I recommend <laughs> it is best for you to maybe stick away by just a little bit. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna go behind the corner. I'm gonna drag the dwarf with me. <laughs> that is not a bad. Oh, I forgot about the dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> drag him to the other oh, side. Here oh, the whole time. Uh, I forgot. I have some so water. close. It's oh, okay. Maybe you should go intercept him. Or I something. have fire. The best I can do is fire or death. But I do not think you want either of those. Uh, no, pass. just go intercept Re Rex and get him over here. Yes, get rid I of the will, guard. I will go. You do what you got to do. I will. Yes, not a bad idea. <clears throat> and I'm gonna just gonna walk kind of briskly past like out <laughs> to the street. Book <laughs> tucked firmly into your I... arms, strutting through. <laughs> Yeah, I take one the of the cloths. <laughs> just like, you know, like when you're like in a real bad hurry <laughs> to get somewhere. Yep. I take one of the cloths and I throw it over the door set. <laughs> Shh, it's okay. Yeah, fair enough. Um, ah, casual. So yeah, Rex, you see uh, Milo walking up towards you. Ah, Rex, my friend. Where have you been? I s we were supposed to meet in the village. It's not that long ago. Oh, you know, being confused for the last, I don't know, however long this ordeal has gone on. Yes, it seems when I arrived, there was some big emotion. I do not, I do not know what's, what's happening. You must have arrived some time before me, you know? Kind of like eyeball the guard for a second. <laughs> yeah, you, if you could, you would visibly see sweat coming down my little face as he's trying yeah. to BS his way through this. Is there a sleight of voice check? <laughs> deception? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> he's not deceiving, yeah. but yeah, I guess deception check. All right, here we go. See if your code is being immediately picked apart by this guy, which it yeah, is. You feel the sweat beating and dropping down your face. <laughs> well, I uh, ended up making a friend. I can see that. Nice, nice to, to meet you too, sir. And I hope my friend Rex was not too mean. He's a big boy, as you can tell. He, like, wipes some of the ash off his beard. Yeah. I <laughs> pretend not to see fine. it. <laughs> well, that is a good thing. Uh, <clears throat> well... <sh> um... <clears throat> Was it, maybe we should um, get to the village then for some shelter from the storms and the lightning and the titans and goats. Uh, not goats. <clears throat> the titans. Yeah, the titans. Great. Uh, yeah. by the yes. Is this the part where I just separate from you two and pretend we Yeah, if you want to go, oh, yes, you, go for it. Yes, yes, go. Go, my friend. Go. You must have family back in the village. Gives a thumbs up and turns you. around and just walks away. After a few moments, is he, like, far enough to where we can't really see him now? Yeah, he continues walking and doesn't seem to All be right. pulling any fast ones on just you. Gonna, <laughs> Rex is just like, 
My, my, one second. <laughs> All right. Um, it's okay, my friend. I felt the same <sighs> way. That maybe original idea of separating the two and the two was a bad idea. Where really, really is the rest of our party before okay. I lose my mind? Well, there's one over there we are going to walk, and I will explain the rest of the story to you. Then us. Yes. I, I am trying really hard to not no. kick into my ancestors' ways right now. Absolutely, my friend. I really understand. Quiet. Yes, yes. Um, Maybe eating the people not the best solution. Oh, it would be far worse than just eating them. Okay. Well, the good news, my friend, is we have found Sparkelius. Great. A goat told us where Sparkelius is. What? <laughs> a, yeah, a goat? Yes. Yes, I see. Are you talking anemone? about anem anemone? Well, anemone turned into the goat, and the goat talked to anemone. Wait, no, is that the the goat talked to anemone before anemone turned into a goat, and now Shydock is with the goat and the anemone, who is now also a goat, and they went into town to find Shydock. The building that went up from flames from the lightning, that was the one that was his home the entire time. None of the people involved were Sparkelius. I just look up. I'm just like, yes. I am so thankful that I am no longer a priest. Thank you. It's just, I do not. All right. You. I uh, don't care about anything you just said. We you just, I just, let's just go. Let's yep. just, let's just go figure this out. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes. And I'll walk them over to where Wick and the, the nearly dwarf. dying dwarf is. <sighs> I pull him back to behind the building where the where he was, I guess, because mm -hmm. so I don't I, wherever that, the spot is. Is that who we were trying? Wait, so is he Sparkalius or is this not? No, no, is that he's some random criminal? So who the hell is this guy? He's not I, a criminal. Well, he was framed. What did I? Says, what? All right, and then I like walk over and I mm -hmm. kind of just like put my hand above the tree right where his like head is. You need to start talking because if you don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I am near cracked. I Rex, actually... Rex, wait, wait. We already. I just put a hand, my hand on his arm. We already got his story. He said he was in the mine and he doesn't know what happened. That he was on a rope and then the other guy was on a rope and that rope snapped and he fell. And then by the time he came out of the mines, they were like, "You killed him!" Blah blah blah. And then they apparently found a whole bunch of Titan glass in his house. That's yeah. the story. Great. Don't okay, well, and I, th I think he's telling the truth because, like, if it's a rope just snapped, that's not his fault. He didn't cut it. At least he's not saying he cut it, and I don't think that he did. He's yes, but you can always. Girls. You, I, I, I really don't care. And th the fact that the matter is, is he could have made the rope. He could have cut it a bit, so when somebody heavy enough was on it, it could have just snapped and looked like an accident. It happens all the time. Why would he still be in town if he was trying to take all the Titan glass? And why would he take, like, how much was it? And I'll look at the dwarf. 200 pounds, you said? Like, a lot. Why would he take a lot that he can't carry? And he's got two little girls, so he's got to make them carry it? Well, it is possible with a family that stealing... Is this Titan glass even really that um, expensive, important, valuable? Apparently, from what I learned from the guard, it's incredibly expensive. Well, that would explain why someone would want to steal the Titan glass. Now, that means one of two things. He stole the Titan glass, he's a murderer, and everything was true. The other option, someone else stole the Titan glass as they framed him, and they killed the man also to frame him. And make it so his execution was set in stone. Pun unintended. I didn't yeah. like that pun. No. I don't think you get to say that. Our point. options are... Well, actually, we're going to wait. Because I don't know if we're going to go... I think we're supposed to go meet up with um, Sparkelius or whatever. But maybe we can talk to them about what to do and like, and whether we should like do... We should help with the investigation of this murder. Or like, like what we should do. As Wick is talking, can I slowly take the... Uh, the... <laughs> 
I don't know if it was a it was a mug or a glass bottle or whatever Giovanni gave me. Can I take that beer out and just start sl drinking it? <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> You're not gonna gave share? you um, pretty much a gnome sized keg, so for you, if you just rip yeah. the top off, it's a good little tankard. Yeah. You're not gonna share? No. I think I deserve this entire thing after what I just dealt with. What did you deal with? Oh, you know, being on stage, being forced to turn into a guard, you know, someone trying to shoot me, someone throwing sleeping gas or whatever the heck that was on the stage, a random stone arm picking up a dwarf, the other guy turning small, another person turning big. I don't know. What did you deal with? Ah, uh, shh, be quiet. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now let me enjoy this. Um... I do not think that I can add any insight, but maybe it is possible that there is someone, from what I understand, the execution was meant to go through, and this over, oh, the, the guy, the leader man himself, um, seemed to be riling up the crowd. I couldn't tell from as far back as I was. However, it is possible that he has some connection that would frame this man, for it is very easy to frame someone who is a worker for the mine, instead of being some kind of um, doing it, um, which is the word, indiscreetly. It's called so, using your authority against those who have lesser power than you. It happens all the time. Yes, something that I have sort of um, so, is it is possible that, again, everything that he said is true, and he is innocent, and he has been framed, or he should be um, executed as far as the standards of the village? However, I don't think that death is always the right answer, and there might be some kind of uh, mystery and uh, supposedly it's our, our, our duty to solve these kinds of mysteries, especially since it seems to pertain to some kind of titan's glass, which might be important to the titan itself. We might learn something regarding the titan to prevent its resurrection. If they're mining titan glass, like literally beneath our feet, does that not mean the titan is literally beneath our feet? Do we would we know where the Titan is, Lila? Yeah, you um, you uh, think about it as as that said, and very much the Titan is literally beneath your feet, and much of at least the island that you're on is made up of the body of the Titan itself. Is it possible they are mining the bones of the Titan itself? Ew. This, I, can disturbing. I like, um, can I have my finger just try and like go through the dirt a bit to see if I can feel anything? Sure. Make a uh, what's digging through the dirt with your finger. Make just make a survival check. Yeah, survival. <laughs> yeah, you go digging through, and you know it's dark, gritty, sandy dirt. So. Much like you would find on other beaches, but you know, just darker sand. I think that uh, Wick, you are a genius, and there is a lot more to answer for than we originally understood about this Titan's glass. This stuff may actually be quite dangerous, and in the wrong hands could be catastrophic for the world, which would be bad. Is it <laughs> so powerful? Oh no, the gods, they are back! <laughs> <laughs> my little PTSD. <laughs> fucking go down. Pardon my language. Sorry. <laughs> so as you guys are having this grand realization, um, not only two goats, but something arguably, you know, worse than a goat shows up. Sparkelius. Just behind them. <laughs> well, hello, everybody. Now, you must be the fellers I was uh, told to wait for. I don't even look up. I'm just too involved in my drink. 
My name is Sparkelius <laughs> the 13th, the you know. Not that makes me with, look up. <laughs> not to be confused with my cousin Sparkelius the 13th, because he was actually, you know, the son of my, my older brother Sparkelius <laughs> the 12th. Um, but, you know, they didn't, they weren't sure if I... Anyway, let's get started on this Titan adventure, shall we? I would like to demorph from my goat. And that is where we'll end episode one of Titan's Edge. I told you guys I could do it. <laughs> I mean, okay, we got there in the end, but still the dwarf has absolutely no value to anything we've done here. The dwarf has not helped us in the slightest. In We're fact, it's more hidden. We haven't even talked to Sparkelius no. yet. <laughs> yeah. I completely that threw off this two, whole campaign. Two, almost three hours of <laughs> saving some random person, which eventually, in the most roundabout way, we got to the right spot. Look, it's a, it was meant to be a side quest. I didn't know if it would connect or not, but hey, here we are. It can't be a, it can't be a side quest if we if he's dead before we say like, by the time we get to him. I'm I was like, no, this guy's gonna really die. Really close to if you guys well for, if you didn't enlarge and beat that guy's strength check, he was just gonna do his duty and just end that dwarf right there. End that whole possibility. Oh no! He was thinking I about been it. Very sad. Ow. But no, that was uh Oh my Good God. use of multiple enlarge spells. Yeah, we like double down on the enlarge reduce. Yeah. When you force that I... advantage and disadvantage on the same contested roll, it's beautiful. Yep. Let's get a round of applause <laughs> um, for the goats in the background, shall we? Woo! They're beautiful. <laughs> the goat queen herself. Hashtag is goated. Yep. <laughs> Oh Jesus. my god. <laughs> this was fun! Yeah. This was amazing. That went pretty well. I think so. And uh, of course, hey. much more to be going. We got some mystery. We got some lore. And we got what could be the main quest ready to continue now. But who knows what's going <laughs> to happen on the next episode. <laughs> Goats. Goats are going to happen. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> I already had it like written down. It's like, he's going to have a pet goat. <laughs> Hell this yeah! This all came to be, and it's like, well, this is how today has to go. <laughs> yeah. At what point were you like, okay, I don't know where this is going, but but goat meal really needs to show up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, how are we gonna connect this? Goat meal's curious. We'll have him walking around. Goat meal. Goat, goat meal. meal. Goat I, meal. I wasn't ready for goat the speak meal. of the animal spell too, so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's the polar opposite voice of Sparkelius? <laughs> yeah. Why, hello there. <laughs> the v most fine looking specimen. Both three voices. You want to have some oats with me later? <laughs> Never did I think I was building this campaign to turn into a goat and flirt with my girlfriend, also as a goat. So. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Every yep. town we go to, there's a new goat that flirts with her. I <laughs> see so you could play with her. Nah, goat meal is her one and only true love. <laughs> the first and only. We're gonna have goat babies. <laughs> oh god. We'll find out in the future of Titan's yeah. Edge. Yeah, no, um, the whole goat thing would definitely have in a place I wasn't expecting um, it to. There's a lot of, there's there's a lot of ways. It's definitely <laughs> quite strange. <strange. laughs> Shy Doc just standing there like, I don't speak goat, what's going on? <laughs> Thanks for DMing. Yeah. My pleasure. So, I assume next week we're going to have another session. Is everyone's schedule clear for Wednesday? Probably. Uh, I'm yeah. going to clear it. Yeah, let's make it clear, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, that'll be happening uh, next Wednesday starting at 6 p.m. EST. Make sure to come check it out here on the Twitch channel. The plan is for the uh, video to go up on the Dice and Fire YouTube channel on Fridays, so two days after the um, stream is streamed. You get a chance to either watch the VOD or, you know, catch it live, and then it'll be put on YouTube. And I think I'll have the names popping up when it goes on YouTube and stuff there, and then, of course, since you know at least all the characters' names they gave you, um, those will be up on the screen as presented. And more cool stuff to come. Um, I'm happy with everything. Um, does anyone want to give any quick shout-outs to, to cool stuff they're doing before we get out of here? Y'all deserve it. 
Oh God! Um, you don't have to. You could just be be shy and not say what you're doing. Like subscribe to Dice and Fire. They haven't subscribe uploaded in three Dice months, but they're gonna start. <laughs> that's that's part of it. Because it thing. is. I just, I just want to you know rub it in everyone's faces like yo know, when I'm running the game that episode comes up two days after. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, um, I'm just going to try to guilt all my friends. That, that there way. you go. I stream. <clears throat> That's it. That's who owns X. I, I, uh, I have YouTube plans that may or may not be related to D&D stuff. That may or may not also include things from this campaign with Xylo's permissions. <laughs> Either this is what we talked about I like a year ago. I just thought of that about thought three thought seconds of, okay. ago. No, no, no. I thought about that three seconds Great. ago. <laughs> just want to make explain. sure that I'm not on the same boat yet. Great. No, no, you're oh, not. Okay. Do you want to put the character art in the Discord as well? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. we can drop that oh, in yeah. the Discord. You guys can, of course, take your own creative liberties whenever making all kinds of your art, but as well, if you want to use the, uh, you know, art that everyone has gotten provided, I'm um, assuming they want to post it. You know, some touch-ups are going to still be needed to be done on a few people's things. Um, but yeah, you guys can use that and make all kinds of fan art, whether it's just drawing two pictures of goats. Um, Please, I need <laughs> fan art of goat meal and carrying a goat uh, <laughs> anem I anemone. Save, I save all fan art given to me, and I bring it yeah. up on my stream, mm -hmm. so like... Please, please. That's smart. Just as I need Giga Chad we'll Goatmeal. Some of our favorite at the beginning of next session. Oh yes. Should. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. go make fan art, and you will um, get it shown. If yes, if, I don't know. <laughs> if Xylo do, just unless it's though. terrible, then I just won't show it. No. And if I don't show your art, remember it's not because I didn't see it or I didn't have time to put it in. It's because it's bad. No. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll beat him up. So <laughs> Could it actually just be I bad. Yikes. I don't know. Sure no. Great, but... <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's dick figures, I'll like it. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Farewell. Whoa.